Hi, Coastal Friends, and happy Wednesday! <laughs> um, and uh, as you can see, today is a super special live stream because I have two guests, which indicates an extra special live stream. We need double the awesome. So I'm joined today by lead programmer Andrew Chappell and gameplay programmer Bradley Pollard. Yay! Hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and uh, very, very excited because today um, we are playing a super special version of Planet Coaster, and we're going to be focusing on 1.4 Scenario Editor. Yeah. This oh, is the waiting. first time we've shown off the 1.4 build live. I yep. know. Yeah. No one's seen any of this before. This Never. Is, this, is, this is our latest, our latest build. So fingers crossed, everything will be fine. Nothing will crash. Yeah. Nothing will happen. Have been every single will be fine. You have. <laughs> I, have been, I have been playing it all day and having lots of fun. And what you have not worked? Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> this is work, right? This, this is, is good. Totally this is work. good. Like advertisement for Frontier. Like come work at Frontier where you can just play video games all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go with that. that. That's exactly what we do. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. um, yeah. yeah. So I mean, you guys uh, at Frontier Expo, if you've been tuning into our live streams, obviously, um, Andrew Chapel was there. You were yes, doing an amazing yeah, job on the you. stage. It was terrifying and awesome at the same yeah, time. You did really well. We couldn't <laughs> tell. It was very impressive. <laughs> we were very proud. Um, Thank you. Yeah. And you did a great job talking about the scenario editor. We had some screenshots on the screen as well. We um, did. But as you just said as well, today we have a live build. What does a live build mean? A live build means we can click on everything in the scenario editor. Every which is a single button. There's a lot of buttons, lot of to, buttons click to click. <laughs> We're going to be pushed for time, I think, because we click all those buttons. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> So, very excited. But it also means that um, not everything is 100% as it yeah, will yeah, be. Yeah, we, we, we are still dotting the I's, crossing the T's, yes. and learning Planko as we go. Yep, uh, there's still bits more to come, so we're not showing off everything. We no. are just going to focus on our scenario. I'm, I'm being very strict. It's yeah. all it's all my fault. Yeah. I was very strict. I said, we're not showing the new rides. We're not showing the new coasters. Plus, you know, if we if we spoiled them, Sam would be really annoyed. Ooh, he would have nothing to talk that about. Is that, is that, is his, that is his job to spoil <laughs> <them all. laughs> um, But first of all, how are you guys doing? You guys all right? Oh yeah, it really going really well. We had, yep. as you said, we had a great time at Frontier Expo. It was really yeah. good to yeah. meet loads of people and say hi. And we came away with lots of lots of ideas, lots of feedback from you all, which I is know, the really community yeah, was, uh, yeah, it's finding really, you, and yeah, talking to no, you. A lot. It was really good to, to to meet up with people at the Expo. We have a lot of really cool things to show off today. Awesome. And it's thanks to you guys that we have them. So thank you for giving us all of your feedback. We we nice. pay attention to all of it. We really do, and we can't wait to share with you what we've done. Definitely. <laughs> well, there you go. Nice introduction from Mr. Chapel. Um, and uh, we saw you a few weeks ago on yes, the live stream. Yes, I'm back. I You're keep back. coming back. I can't you're get still, enough of uh, the, the community, the wonderful yes. community. Yes, <laughs> we like hearing that. Um, and you're still working on Jurassic World Evolution. That is correct. Um, secret things. Slaving away on mm. secret things. Yes, secret <laughs> things. We will not talk about. Like, we'll not talk about today because we've got too much good stuff in Planet Coast ah, to talk about anyway. Yay, very excited. Um, so I'm just going to ask the chat, are you ready to see the scenario editor? Would you Would you like us to just jump into the game or shall we just talk some more? What, are you guys hyped at all? I'm, I'm kind of curious to find out. I hope um, you're excited. I hope so. Show us the content, says Soren. <laughs> so, I mean, that's that. If that's enough indication, I, I don't think, know. Yeah, no, I don't think it, <laughs> it probably just about is. Uh, so yeah, and again, so we are going to be focusing mostly on the scenario editor, uh, the management and UI updates that come with the scenario editor as well. There's so much going on, and I think you guys are going to be really, really excited and really pleased. There's going to be lots of your feedback that you'll be seeing back into this uh, into this feature. Um, but if you have any other questions about one point four update that comes. Next Wednesday, 22nd of November, um, do pop them in the chat and we'll do our best to answer them. I can't promise that we will be able to touch upon everything, but we'll do our best. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll, we'll try and cool things out. Brad's going to drive for I'm gonna us. I'm going to drive. You're driving. There's so much uh, in I here. I will try and so um, um, find answer questions <laughs> so as they come up. Show us, show us, show us. So for now, we were just, we're just going to jump right in so you yeah. can see this it in the corner. Look. Look at that. Oh, yeah. it says right there. Oh, Sneaky. Oh, my God, exciting. Sneaky so, looks. Uh, we're going to jump in. We're going to go to play and we're going to see the cool, shiny new scenario. There it is. There it is. Right next to yeah, me. She is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like <gasps> a good avatar. <laughs> All right, favorite. so let's go super, super slowly and point yeah. everything out that, that, that the community is seeing. If at any yeah. point, guys, we're blocking something, I'll turn off uh, our sort of camera so you'll be able to see the full screen as well. I think, yeah, we're going to block a lot eventually, but Ooh. we'll be yeah. fine. <laughs> yes. So uh, the, thing, the first start is we've got our, the standard new scenario where you go to create a new one. Uh, we'll walk through that in just a second. But if we mm -hmm. jump into my scenarios, first of all. Yeah. Oh, 
Hello. where you see some auto saves. But yep. this is where this is you'll be able to pick up your <laughs> scenarios that you've created and you can upload them to Steam Workshop yep. and share them yes. there. This is where you decide whether you want to open a scenario for editing, as in you want to go change your scenario itself or whether you want to play that scenario. Oh. But as you can see, we don't have anything we to, don't play. Have to play. No. So, so, let's make one. I yeah. think that's the best thing to do now. <laughs> We're so gonna we'll jump make a in. scenario. Uh, that's what you do. You can choose your biome. Yeah. Right. Should we should we leave this up to the the uh, the chat to decide which biome we pick? Yes. Yes. Let's. So chat, uh, do let us know which uh, biome. What's your favorite biome. Is it deciduous? Deciduous. I pronounced this incorrectly last time. I got a lot of slack last time. I think it's deciduous. Deciduous. Deciduous is definitely my favorite biome. We always get a lot of votes for Alpine as well. Alpine is pretty cool. They're all quite cool. Oh, we're just oh, waiting, waiting for chat lag. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll be a little bit behind us. Um, well, also, um, as some people correctly pointed out in the chat, on Friday is the actual Planet Coaster anniversary, the 7th of November. So congratulations to both of you, because you guys were there from the start. Indeed. Thank um, you. And congratulations to our community yeah, for exactly. building the most amazing things with Planet Coaster. <laughs> it is. Yay! Truly, it's here we go. Here come the bind, but it is truly amazing what we, <laughs> what we get to oh we, we get to see all of your content on Steam Workshop, and it is fantastic. Oh, I see a lot of custom, and a then little. I see some. Well, we could do a custom. We could do a custom. We could do a custom. Would you Should be we okay try with that? that? Yeah, let's do a custom, yeah, and we might even custom. be able to see one custom of the new is. features for custom items. So, as part of the, the the work on the scenario editor, what we've done is we've added the ability to change the what, what we refer to as the skirt, but this is basically the terrain outside the buildable park area. Right. So before you could you ha that had to stay the same, and you could just swap the textures within it. Now you can also change that outside. It. You can switch between the any of the the, the Alpine, the, the deciduous, any of the, the pre authored wow. stuff, you can now switch between it. And mm. the reason we can do that is because you can now take your camera all the way up to the edge of the editable terrain, even outside your buildable area, Very and cool. change the terrain to match, which is really cool because that was what was stopped us from doing it before. That's amazing. And is this one of your programming magic? This this that we is this is happening? this is one of one of mine that I, that I snuck in. But yeah. I always get a lot cheeky, of love, love for custom bonus. custom biomes for me. It's one of those things that I love to come back and tweak. Indeed. That always happens. We so, we're like, oh we're not sure, like we might have some technical difficulties. Sometimes we're really just still investigating and then Andrew will just go back and he'll be like, nah, actually that's nah, fine, and he'll click some buttons and <laughs> things will just magically happen and I never yeah. understand how you do it, but it's very <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Indeed. So um so you've Swap clicked on maybe, maybe swap out some so some sand or something. Some sand, that kind of sand, yeah. or some wiggly sand. I like the wiggly, wiggly sand. sand. Wiggly sand. There. So uh, while you guys decide, uh, there's some good sand. questions in the chat as well. Could we get some uh, different background skirts? So that's more of an art-related questions. Yeah. Um, so different sand background sand. skirts uh, will depend on uh, the availability of the art team, basically. Yeah, they actually take quite um, a long time to, to yes. model and make these these skirts. It's some mm -hmm. one of those things which which like given that it just sits in the background of your park and kind of sets the theme. Yeah. It takes a surprising amount of, of time to author to get all your trees laid out correctly and things like that. Mm -hmm. Should we sneak in something weird? I don't know, a bit snow or something. Do it. Go yeah. crazy. Something very strange. Let's go nuts. Some snow. Why yeah. not? There you go. Shall we? Does yeah. that look alright? Let's go for it. Uh, Nemi already has a question for you, Andy. Can we also sculpt the terrain outside of the park? Uh, so you can sculpt the terrain outside of the park boundary. Right. You can't sculpt the terrain on the skirt itself because that isn't sculptable terrain. <laughs> yeah. The reason that it's not is because otherwise the memory for running the game would be really high. Astronomical. Yeah, <laughs> really high indeed. So that's why we have these like these models out, which are basically just the geometry outside. Right. That you yeah. can't change. Right. But I'm going to make us a little change. bit smaller yeah. Yeah. so, so that we can still down. be on. There you go. Live editing. There you go. Yeah. Um, Amazing. But you guys can read what's happening right there. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this is the kind of the view you get right at the very start of editing the scenario. Awesome. And yeah. it kind of walks you through just a few of the basic steps uh, on how the actual scenario to works. Great. And kind of gives you a hint that we want to see all your scenarios on team for me to play. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And then the big new feature. Yeah, yeah this, is the, this is the big new button. This is That's the scenario editor button. That we're going to be <laughs> anyway, shall we continue? Yeah, let's continue. Let's jump in. So when you first load up the scenario so editor, <laughs> you will be presented <laughs> with, the with the scenario editor. editor UI. And we're going to be slap bang in the way of it. So we might want to oh, move wow. onto the yeah. other side. Yeah. Yes, let's I just can jump ourselves to the other side. Look at this. Yeah, look at that. Live editing! I can, I can, we, can, we can just go anywhere, really. Oh, oh gosh. Oh. <laughs> that's that's too, too intense. Too intense too for me. A little bit yeah. too much, yeah. We'll wait to get on some roller coasters okay, before okay, we get really intense. <laughs> um, so, Gav, again, that's a great question. How big can the park sizes go? So, this is all things we will, there are different tabs, as you can see. And we'll go we literally go through, through every single tab and show you uh, all the uh, things that you can achieve. Indeed. Um, 
So I hope your questions will be answered in, in, in just a few minutes. Yep. So yes. So as you can see, Ooh. we've got uh, all the tabs along here, all the different things you can tweak in your park. Awesome. How do we want to do this? Do we want to go through one by one? Do we Let, I, I think we should go through one by one. Let's start with objectives, because objectives are really cool. Yeah. Yes. This is this is very cool. Um, so first of all, obviously, you've got the, the name of your, your scenario, which I call Wednesday Scenario Land. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And you're, of course, able to give a description that will come up in a big fanfare that we'll see later when you when you load yeah, up we'll to play, to your, play. Yeah. play This is scenario. just like the written scenarios that we have shipped with Planet Coast already. Yeah. This is exactly the same kind of presentation that awesome. comes with those. Yeah, so you can give all kinds of background on what you're going to have to do. I don't know what we're going to do yet. So Ooh, okay. maybe we'll, we'll, uh, we'll probably have to fill this in at the end. Uh, but you can kind of give your players some hints of how they can succeed at your scenario, or cool. just give some flavor text if you want to give yeah. them a background story. We have excellent writers in the community, so I'm I'm expecting some cool background stories and absolutely, yeah. You know, yeah, but people will be very do, inspired. Be to add an yeah, let's add an objective. Add an objective. So first of all, you can choose your difficulty. So you, you can choose your bronze, silver, gold difficulty tiers. Obviously, they can still be done in any order. Awesome. Um, and then you've got a whole swathe of different. Wow. Objective Wow. Types to choose from. Look at that. Yeah, well, um, we don't need to go through these all. No, I don't know. We're, we're, not gonna, we're not going to have time to go through every single no. one and then all the conditions and things that come from them, but we'll kind of run through the kinds of. We've categorized them under these different yeah. tabs. Okay. So we'll trick a traditional one. Build coasters is usually a good place to start. Yep. Cool. So you can obviously require that these be go kart tracks instead of normal normal coasters, or you can choose the player has to build you know five coasters or wow. something. You can make, yeah. it, make it as difficult as you want. You make <laughs> ten, ten, coasters, ten coasters. Get really crazy with it. But we'll start with just a builder one coaster, and then on top of that, you can add modifiers to these. I'm sure you've seen in the in the in the career, uh -huh. um, and these can be all sorts of fun things. So we can make a coaster which is a uh, maximum length or a minimum length. Maximum length, length or, yeah. yeah. Maximum length of a thousand meters seems like a good place to wow, start. Wow, that's mm. cool. Um, and I, just a question, sorry, about the about the difficulty. Yeah. So when you say, for example, when one person is doing a scenario and they say a bronze difficulty but ten build ten coasters, and another person said bronze difficulty but build <laughs> one coaster, how is that gonna? That's totally up to the community to decide. Okay. If you want okay. to make Absolutely. the crazy hardest scenario ever, where the bronze, bronze, you know, uh, bronze challenges are harder than someone else's gold, that's totally right. up to you. Or wow. you can make we, it. Yeah, nice we, and we definitely want. We definitely want to see it. And there's also you. You can also create upside down crazy scenarios and make your golds easier to get than your bronze. That's wow. totally allowed. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So and it's literally even, the freedom to the player. You can stack basically. multiple different conditions oh, yeah. on so your. So you can have a on ma your maximum length, a minimum nice. top speed, and all sorts of really yeah, crazy. Yeah, you can keep stacking these on and make them as crazy as hard as you want. But we'll we'll add that because this is only a bronze one. That seems like a good yeah. place to start. And then you can see your objective over here <laughs> and everything that needs to be done to to complete that specific objective. That's yeah. awesome. And it's also worth saying that we we we've just jumped straight into this. But whenever I, when I'm building scenarios and things, what I want to do is build a bit of park and then decide. Okay, well I'm going to set this up to be a coaster park. I'm going to set this up yeah. to be a teeny tiny park where you can only have one coaster. There's only room for one. Yeah. So you can come back and set all this stuff up afterwards. Yeah. So yes. while we are running through this stuff right now, I reckon when I'm building scenarios at home, I will be doing some work on my park. I'll yeah, be doing some sculpting. Set up the and then, terrain, yeah, set and then up you'll the come layout. back and tweak your objectives and tweak your finances and decide, yeah. oh, well, actually, I want to allow this thing or don't want to allow this thing. Awesome. So should we add one more and then maybe come back and do the hard yeah. one once we've yeah, tweaked Yeah, I think that's, yeah. that's a good idea. Yeah, so we'll add a, add a silver one now. Um, oh, Windwest so 4D from. says, I'm so ready for this. Um, Disney, I saw some this Disney kit. I did see your question, and I think we're going to answer it uh, in the second tab. So if you just wait on a little bit longer, uh, we can. So shall we show off my favorite question. condition? Yes. <laughs> yes. So my favorite condition. So here's just uh, an objective where you have to get a thousand guests in your park. You know, fairly standard. Mm -hmm. But there's something new that people might not have uh, seen before. No, no, this, this is this is we definitely like this. new. <laughs> we're very excited Spoilers. about this. Spoilers. Spoiler so Bradley. This is the deadline condition. So this is something people have been asking for for ages, and that's that you can put timers on your objectives. Yeah. So you have an objective that can be failed you, you if you don't complete this within <gasps> the time then you cannot get this objective and you have to start again yeah you guys that's so here amazing. we have an objective that says you need to get a thousand guests in your park by the end of march on year, year two. two so basically you have a year to get a thousand guests in your park if you don't do it you fail it you can never complete that objective in the wow. scenario unless you start, start again. again yeah, yeah and is that again. is that something that was happening to you today as well yes <laughs> yeah yeah i i i was in my playthrough i set up a uh, a park and then for hours and hours i was like i can, I can make it i can make it and i was about three rides away from hitting my gold oh go on, and no off it. Look, man, start again Yep. Wow. <laughs> so there you go. So Freezer Hawk says, yay, timers and fail states. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's a great introduction to objectives. Well done. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, well, we, you're talking about sculpting your park, so maybe it's best next to look at the park tab. Yeah, and let's have a look at the, the things that gives you control over. Yep. Aww. So I really like this tab when I saw it. <laughs> it's made me very excited. 
because mm. uh, that, that first thing is awesome. The first thing, so we jump straight into it. Yes. So you've got the park size, shape, and spawn points, most exciting right. so We'll jump yeah. right in here, and this is our new edit mode for changing the size of your park. You so guys! The boundary, boundary for your park. Oh, and so cool. you have full control over the width, the depth, and even the height. Oh yeah, if you, want to, if you want to have a nice, nice uh, near an airport and you've got height restrictions, so you make people build compact and not wow. very tall coasters, you can totally do that. So you could literally say, you can only have a 100 meter tall park. And then, you have and tiny, then hidden under the ground tiny at the little moment. Box, uh, I'm a bit, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot it's centered above Because of course, the because, yeah, because it's you can the dig down, you can, go you can up. dig down. Yeah. Yep. You, can, you can build a scenario oh, where you basically can't go like a, like a quarry where you can't go above the kind of sea level. Or even one where you can't, can't dig down. Can't dig down, yeah. yeah can't That's dig down amazing. Either. So uh, yes, the, the timers is absolutely optional. It's just one of yeah, one, totally. Deadline is one we, of we the saw objectives. we just saw people in the in the chat saying timers woo and timers I hate timers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, this is completely up to you. You don't have to put these on, you but I, I can't wait yeah. to see the scenarios that people build with and without them. Exactly. Oh my gosh, exactly. Esperitly is very excited. So. Europa Park Freak is very excited. Yeah. Uh, Amiga's Creation says that's awesome. Yeah. So we can basically it's so you have the the, the square that you see. That's the voxel terrain, correct? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so that's, that's your that's the kind of the max. The, this, yeah, that's, this that's boundary the boundary along limit. here. Right. That's what you can terraform. Amazing. Yeah. You, can, you can edit with the terrain tool. So you can see it very clearly here, like where you're as big as your parks it's are going to go and as and small and as high. to the size of the, the terrain, so you can't yeah. go outside of it. That's but really cool. You could cool. make it the full, full length of the terrain, and then you've got this weird kind of sausage park. <gasps> yeah. No, that's, that's, that, that's, that's, that's what I did. And then and then I hid all my coasters behind the research stuff, which we'll come to in a bit. And yeah. then you've got to really, to like to fit a coaster in the in a narrow width is actually quite hard. Oh, <laughs> 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 Don't ask me. I'm <laughs> terrible at building costs. Yeah. So there's one more thing we haven't shown off in the park boundary tool, and there's yeah. this exciting little button down here, add spawn point. So if we click that, ah, I saw this question in the chat before. Yeah, yeah. And, and we, we, we know we, we've noticed over the over the, the last year that, that occasionally spawn. one of these will appear in the workshop. Somebody will manage to find one, and there's a, a park spawn workshop. So we've fixed up all this. You can now place your park spawners wherever you want, and you can have yeah. as many of them as you want. So you can wow. come in here, and you can literally be like, wow. I want guests to be able to spawn over there. I want guests to be able to spawn over here. And then, of course, you can edit the terrain, put in buildings, yeah. you know, make that look good. You don't have to just be a wow, really cool. floor in the middle of nowhere. But, but to, to clarify, the person playing your scenario can only modify within the oh, park yeah. boundary. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. The, the park boundary we've got being shown here, that is the limit of where you can edit. Just like in our right. frontier scenarios, we have things like houses and stuff on the hills in the yeah. distance. That's ex using the exact same thing. We've basically, you, everything outside the boundary is locked and you can't edit it. Yeah. And you wow. can also lock stuff within the boundary, which awesome. we'll show you in a bit. Yeah. Awesome. So are we happy with this? Do you want to go for something a bit more yeah. sensible? No, no, no. Just nice and weird. <laughs> no, this, this, this is Wednesday scenario land after all. <laughs> exactly. Wednesday scenario land is going to be crazy. So that's that done. Um, that's going to be our park boundary. And you can obviously still see the dotted line if you forget. Yes. Yeah, where cool. it is. Yeah. I'm going to make it daytime because it's, it's, yeah, it's a bit hard to see yeah, things at the moment. To see things the day, yeah. There you go, yeah. yeah. There we go. So if we nice. jump back into the scenario editor, because there's more to show off in the park tab. Yeah. Only just getting started, really. <gasps> <laughs> so exciting. So you can also set up some like initial starting conditions for the park. So when you start the scenario, you might say, oh, I want it to start at midnight or you know 6 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I think it's restricted by your opening times, isn't it? So because our, because our park, clo our park closes at 6 p.m., yeah. if you wanted to beyond. build like a complete night park, you can build a complete night park. OK. Yeah. Wow. Very cool. Uh, fun oh, things, Zachman, thank you for all sorts us. of things you just can tweak, you know, to change the difficulty or make it easier, yeah. make it harder. You can change the breakdown rate. So, say you and want parks to break yeah. down at half the speed, that's wow, you can okay. easily yeah. just go in there. And or do. if you want it to be a really, if you're building that rickety old fairground, you can set it up more than <laughs> something ridiculous <laughs> like ten. Yeah, is an option might, you can yeah, do. Yeah, ten might be sponsored by the mechanics. <laughs> union, I think, but. Uh, yeah, I, I want to make it nice and easy, so we're going to go. Oh, I just noticed from chat ellipsis says, so this means multi entrance. Yes, it does. You can have yes. as many spawners as exactly. you would like. Multi entrance cool. is in. Um, <laughs> I like the idea of having parts where you can't edit the terrain and you kind of have to work around yeah. the terrain. So, mm -hmm. yeah. personally, for me, I like turning off. The terrain yeah. editing. You can also okay. make terrain editing very expensive if you would rather. Terrain, oh, yeah. If you rather not have it disabled but just adding a cost for it. Goes up to twenty bucks. My, my brain is exploding. That, that adds up very quick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Adds up yeah. really quick. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like work, real work, kind of yeah. moving a bulldozer around. Exactly. Surprisingly, it's wow. uh, yeah. yeah, rather expensive. And then we've got other things like just a kind of convenience stuff. So. Uh, allow people to limit the number of guests in their awesome. park. Yeah. And you can also set it so that if you get loads of guests into the park, get it kind of 
going, yeah. you can have that save and then the player will load in the same state, or you oh. can completely clear out the park. So you start, start your from scratch. Here. Very yeah. cool. Thank fresh. you, Brilliant 87. So That's really, really kind of you. And, we appreciate and then also get rid of all vomit and rubbish because yeah. you don't want to. What, one, of the, one of the like key things for the scenario editor for us is that we put all the stuff in your in your hands, and then as a scenario creator, we we decide, you know, we let you decide if you want people to be able to change it. So things like the park opening times, you could you could build your night park and you could let people change it. Or you could build a night park and say, no, people cannot change the opening hours. It is wow. only a night park. And then that becomes part of the, the fun of the scenario, right? Yeah. So let's set up these spawners to sort of there. Uh, yeah, Campiro is asking, can you delete go. the standard guest spawner as well? Yep, yep. yep. That so shows we, we could have deleted, deleted this one. one. I, did, yeah. I chose not to, but you can totally jump in there and delete the existing ones. Yeah, yeah, it just shows as a yeah. The list. Yeah, there's just a little uh, a little select thing in the list that you click. It will take you to the spawner, and you can just delete it. That's yeah. amazing. And, and you'll course. notice right now, Brad's building outside the park yeah. boundary so this to is connect up our, our <laughs> where, spawners. Where our player who's going to come and play our scenario won't be able to edit, but we we can freely, you know, raise up the terrain, you know, right. do all sorts of fun stuff. Bury this underneath the rock, kind ah, of like the traditional entrances are. Yeah, so very you cool. Can't see it. You know, all of that kind of fun fun stuff. Guests um, come from underground. Uh, we have a question from Fubar89. Can you set the in-game year month start point? I believe when you start a scenario, the time the, it resets every time. Yeah, it always okay. starts on the the um, month. Um, the which I'm starting much is March. Yes, I think it's March and okay. the year zero. Right? Like yeah, because March, all of our yeah. objectives and times things that are based around the rather than yeah. being based on a fixed date, they are you know year one, year two, year three. Wow. So that's why we, why we yeah, always reset it. Really but obviously, you can still build a bunch of um, a bunch of stuff in your story you can let people go and populate that park and then you can save that out as the scenario if you want it to kind of feel like it's a not a brand new park a yeah. uh, question from lomex was do the spawn points work outside of the scenario editor can you add them to existing parks um so the good news is is you can open anything in the scenario editor anything uh, you anything like. you want any <laughs> existing wow. sandboxes anything and even our own campaign levels i believe you can open in the scenario editor so, and see yeah. how we've set things up so. and then you can just you can add your you add your spawn point in there and then just resave it and reopen it as a sandbox again there we go wow oh, i deleted oh. it immediately yeah. <laughs> <I have different laughs> it was so beautiful i have different controls on my computer the stream machine <laughs> confuses me right click I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always stressed when I'm using it. <laughs> that's good. There we go. So that's kind of how you could, you know, bed in your spawn. Lovely. Look nice. at that. Do the same on the other yeah. side. But you know what's more exciting than me editing terrain is right. talking, about talking about the talking about the the park. Yeah, exactly. So I think we covered most of the things in the park tab. What should <laughs> yeah. we jump to next? What's the next logical um, one to jump to? I reckon we should probably do finances next, although finance, finances is a bit is a little bit dry. It's for the Ooh. accountants among us. Yeah, Ooh. but, but we this have is there are some powerful people things in you can here. Still do so. Yeah, though, definitely. Yeah. Uh, sorry, so. Rudy, did I miss your question? Sorry to continue. Yeah, Feel yeah. Free to continue. Are you searching for a question? Can we so. edit the whole map or just in the biggest park size? Asks Rudy. Uh, so you can then edit the entire amount of what, what we, we refer to this as voxel terrain. This is the plant closest yeah. editable terrain. It's the kind of the light green the light outline green on this stuff. Yeah. You can edit anything within here. You cannot edit stuff without, and sadly that's a yeah, like a, a performance and memory thing because that isn't that isn't in an editable form. It is, yeah. it is a static model exactly. so that it Indeed. loads correctly so that it, it doesn't use up all the memory because we want you to fill oh. your parks with your own creations. They said you missed track restrictions on the park. Oh, ah, yes, we course. did. Yeah, so that's uh, it's no. new, isn't it? It's, 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 yeah. it's, it's a new, new thing. It's a new <laughs> thing. We, we have already, we've already spoken about this. So yes, we, yes, we're not, yes, we have. This is not, this is not a spoiler sanding it. Um, <laughs> this, is, this allows you to decide if you want players to be able to turn off track restrictions. Everything that we do, the same with security, the same with... Um, with the staff, the new changes to staff management, you can turn it off if you want to right. build an old school Planet Coaster 1.0 yeah. scenario. You can do, and you definitely can do 1.0 because you can go in and take go karts out from the research tree. Oh, but you, you <laughs> can, <laughs> that's what it's there for. But you can decide if you want people to be able to turn off track trains or not. If you're building like, uh, uh, if, if your your ideal form of scenario is that like, I want people to build real coasters, I don't want there to be a yeah. trains on. You can put them on. Yeah, that's or awesome. if you want to let people. Go go crazy, then you can. Yep. Very so cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Very off, cool. Because I don't, I want nice realistic. Yeah, you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we also mentioned edit refunds for removed objects. You can change the. That's, I think, was that in the that's, on the, that's well? on the finances. That's on the finances. So fast. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. So well, there's a bunch of fun things under here under the scenario, uh, the finances. So obviously unlimited money, you can just yeah, have a that's, that's fairly straightforward. Yeah, if you've got unlimited money, well, but you, it's the kind of, are, you can do. You can still create challenges right? around yeah. that. If, if your cha if your objectives are super challenging, your you know your research is really locked down, and what your build area is really locked down, perhaps having lots of money doesn't help. Yeah, yeah. Having, having the it money doesn't help. It would have helped you... me. I ran out of money quite quickly when I was playing the <laughs> scenario. Right. Well, yeah. we'll start with more money then. Let's start with thirty thousand. So a nice little start. Great. Give it to me. And then the refund multiplier as other people said so that determines when you delete something at the moment I think in all of our I career all scenarios of our, all of our you get full of refunds have been 100% yeah. Okay. yeah so okay. you can make it a challenge like make it like if I delete this ride I'm going to lose some money I, oh. or I was, sorry 75 oh. is in percentages yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm a programmer I want to type everything yeah. as a decimal <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but there you go you can so set your refund multiplier to, to 1% to 1% if, really if you're crazy and you, you want anyone to wow. basically commit to their choices <laughs> yep. that, that's one way to do it but yes, you can you can punish people for destroying yeah. things or make, you know making. And you can, all, if you want to allow people a bit more freedom or a bit less freedom mm -hmm. with with coasters, you can mm -hmm. change the vote separately for coaster track. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Sorry, so just a really because it's, it's a good question from uh, from Klaus. Can I edit my safe scenarios later to make the park map bigger, for example? Absolutely. Yes. Any at any time you can load your scenario into play it right now, which is just like playing a career level, or you can take anything and load it back into the the, the scenario editor to make awesome. changes. Yeah, wow. Absolutely. And then you go. you've got this big fun loan section, which is actually <gasps> really cool. Um, so obviously in a park, normally you just have a, a few selected loans that would be available. Those are generally yeah. scenario dependent, and you too can choose what what loans you want. And there are a huge number of, of possible yeah. loan wow. values you can all choose. All the, and you can it goes forever, basically. I thought it was just the top, and then you scroll. No, no, it's <laughs> there's, there's a lot of loans to choose from. Oh Long-term debt down there. Yeah, this one's really wow. fun. It's a bit ridiculous. But it gives one. you an idea of what they're going to have to repay. You yeah. know, and you can even oh, be that one's as mean to say, crazy. you yeah. are stuck with that loan when you start the game. Oh, yeah, the, the uh, available during play uh, is like whether so it shows up in the initial, initial active is like, you just have that. Yeah, so this says, you have this loan, deal with it. And that's wow. now part of your scenario. And you either have to repay it off, you know, or or you know, go back oh. bankrupt. <laughs> Just go slowly, slowly bankrupt. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. Yeah, exactly. So, but very that's, cool. that's really cool. And then of course you can select uh, a number of these guys. Just and I like how you're like, that's the available. craziest one. I'm going to turn it on as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, I, I probably won't game. actually just for the sake of oh. being able to play this Mario. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we probably do want to actually be able to build some things in a bit. But I'll make make some loans available yeah. in case we want to take some out. Let's take that hmm. one as well. Uh, does it also work with alpha maps that are smaller? Asks the lady designer. Alpha maps. Yes, yes, it should. <laughs> I, she says confidently. Say I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure we have tested it with alpha oh, maps. Okay. I'm okay. pretty sure well, our, our QA department have a massive. The, the, they are fantastic. They have a massive selection of levels all throughout Plat Coasters development, yeah. and uh, I'm pretty sure we've tested it on alpha, alpha yeah. parks, and it should work just fine. Mm, yeah. Excellent. Good. I'm, I'm getting excited about painting my terrain and things like that. Rocks, but anyway. We've got more fun things to show off. Yay. Yeah. So. So that's the that's the finance tab. The yep. finance tab, lots and lots of things. Let's lots go to should we go to something else with lots and lots of things? Should we oh, yes. should we jump to research? The, oh boy, this is okay. I might have spent a long time working on this tab, so this might yeah. be why it's my favorite tab. Okay. But it's a very cool okay. tab. Okay. <laughs> the research tab is really cool. It's absolutely beautiful. So. Uh. Oh, I don't even know where to start. There's so much to talk about. Wow, I think, this looks cool. So it, yeah, let's start at the very beginning with what we've got in terms of these these three wonderful <laughs> panels here. Yeah. So you've got the unlock section. So this is stuff that's just going to be, as it says in the tooltip, available at the start of the scenario. So when you start the scenario, I'm going to be able to build cosmic cow shops. I'm going to be able to build pirate scenery items. Okay. So those research packs are already unlocked for the player. Okay. The middle column is the exciting one, which is researchable. So this is where you can build your own custom research tree. So in, in different scenarios, we've had different, like uh, in fact, it's mostly done by difficulty rating, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you when you load up a challenge park, if you choose an easy park, it'll have a specific research path that you follow. And then they, those vary depending on what difficulty you choose. And in here, you're going to be able to pick and create your own tracks of research, basically. Absolutely. So uh, to give it a quick example, I can take this cosmic cow and instead of having it unlocked at the beginning, I can bop it into researchable. And now you see that's an item that the player is going to have available at the start of the scenario to okay. research. Yeah. Okay. And wow. as, as, you'd, as you'd expect, any blueprints that feature cosmic cow shops, any, cosmic, yeah, any of the, the custom parts of building cosmic cow is now locked off and you can't do it until you've researched oh, it. Oh, wow, that's yeah. amazing. So now we've got all of these, these fun things over here <gasps> that the player is going to be able to research. But then the fun part is we can turn these into research tracks. So okay. Cosmic Cow, at the moment, these can all be researched straight away as soon as you start the scenario. We take all of these and then we, we click the nests button 
Now what you can see is this has become a track of research. Oh, that's so, so cool. So all they'll have access to to begin with is a research shine lot cosmic cow. When they complete that, they can research Golpi. When they complete we'll that, that, they can get pit shot. shot and then finally street, street pop. That's amazing. Will be the final thing you can. Wow. Get. And so yeah. you can get as creative as you want with these. You can grab. You can do mix sets. You could do like I want to have the 360 power. You have to unlock that before you can get part scenery. scenery. And they'll be like, that's now a research track, and they all nicely color. <gasps> I really like the way they color. Yeah. Yeah. That's lovely. It's you really know, well you done. Can, you can sort these however you want. Maybe you want them to be pink. Uh, it's just, just to make it. 360 power, it should definitely be pink. Yeah. Definitely should be pink. Yeah. Yeah. And that's cool. Just make it distinct when you're looking at it. <laughs> yeah. And then the last, <laughs> the, the last, last column one. is it, also interesting. So the last one is kind of my favorite <laughs> because to be weird with scenarios, I think you can do really cool things with this. Okay. Yeah. I will let Brad explain because it's his tab. Yes. So <laughs> the last tab is the unavailable tab. And this is just basically, you can say, I want the player to never, ever, ever be able to build this yeah. item in the scenario. Wow. They can't research it, they don't start with it, and they can't ever build it. Yeah. And the reason this is one of my favorites is that because when I was building my scenario earlier to kind of prep for this, I built a park with no shops. So there were no food or drink shops. They were all in the unavailable list. And what I did was place those food and drink shops already in my scenario okay. outside the park boundary and lock them off so you could so they're, they're there. So yeah. cool. you, ca you can't build anything else, and that was kind of why I went bankrupt. I didn't, <laughs> uh, yeah, turns out I'm really only ever any good at plant coast if I have enough chief beefs to keep people ha hungry yeah, so all the time. You, you can go really crazy. You could even say like, I don't want people to be able to build flat rides, and so you can come wow. in here. You can go uh, find your where filter, 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 flat rides, filter, filter flat, flat rides. rides. You like can select filters. all of these. And you can go, say, there yeah, you go. No Those flat are rides. no no flat rides in this park ever, and then you can. Reset That's that. amazing. Look how intuitive that is as well. That's really well done. The, the filter groups are, are really helpful for when, yeah. you're, when you're doing awesome. that kind of stuff. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So, should we make a nice little research? Yeah, let's give us some research. We probably do. want to put the flat rides back into available you because. Play Angel yeah. says, nice work, Bradley. My favorite okay. top so far, also. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> really, really, it. really lovely. Big shout out to Josh for getting this UI working as well. Yeah, no, <laughs> fantastic work. Lots of design fantastic went work. into yeah. this. Uh, Dan, as well, for you know spending a lot of time cool. thinking about how this type of yeah. work. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, Rudy Rankamel is asking, cool. is there a way to say that we can build a certain building just once? Um, so he says, for example, uh, you can build a cosmic cow, but you can only put it down once, and after that, it's locked. I don't think we have that. No, that doesn't no, sound familiar no, to me either. No, sorry, sorry, really. <laughs> what you can, of course, do is, you, as I was saying, you can put down a cosmic cow in mm -hmm. your scenario, and then you can just disable cosmic cows, so, no, so you can't place any right. others. And you can then move that. If you don't lock the building, you can then move it around anywhere you want, okay. but you can't build anymore. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, so can I ask I'm, a question? I'm kind of recreating an Andy scenario. We're going to put all the shops oh. over here and then you know dot some shops in that the player can't edit. And yeah. I think that's a, that's a fun fun little scenario to gin up. And then let's do some research. So let's do some coasters. Coaster research yeah. is the most fun. Let's do some tracks. So we can have what's a good starting coaster for the player to keep. Um, Morph says, any way to randomize research so you get surprised on what you get next? Uh, so we don't have a randomized button. No, but no, you, you no, can I surprise we, the I player. Remember we, I, remember <laughs> we, I remember we spoke about this, and the, the problem is that randomizing stuff in terms of either either on the track or from because there's an awful there's a lot of items in here to be able to pick. Yeah, and I think we, I think we felt that by offer. Uh, to have that kind of randomized slightly takes the like the, the repeatability out of it. I want to be able right. to fail a scenario or win a scenario and then have other people kind of score the same at it. So yeah. I want to be able to compare, you know, oh, it took me three years to reach this objective. Yeah. And, you know, wow. go post about it on the workshop. Say, yeah, I did this in three years. And somebody goes, well, I did it in one year. What were you doing so long about? You know, if it's just the research is randomized, that becomes that much more difficult to pull yeah. off. Yeah. But Very good. Leave some limited coasters um, for the player. Klaus is asking, how will the guests react when it wasn't possible to add toilets in the park? They are not happy about this <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> they will go They'll home. They'll probably leave, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Let's make some tracks. I'm just going to do these randomly for the, in the sake, for the sake of time. But you can totally, you know, theme them. You can. Oh yeah. You know, oh, lovely. Yeah. You, you can. You can decide. You can build like. Up. You know, if if you're feeling particularly kind of coaster a uh, coaster realist, you can go back and set up your research track so that you actually have to research something. So that you start oh. off with a basic wooden coaster, yeah. and awesome. you then you know, the kind of the the, uh, the one we're not talking about, <laughs> the, the classic the classic side friction coaster, and that's all I'm going to say on but it. We can, we can and, name it. Yeah. <laughs> and then you, and you then might you, have seen me clicking yeah, on things. 
yeah. That's okay, we can name it. We just start showing exactly. it. <laughs> and, then you, and then you go through and you unlock the kind of the, 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 the more traditional wooden coasters and throw right. you up to steel and everything else. You can build that kind of research track out. Very or good. you can have like a wooden research track and a steel research track and go from basic, the classic, yeah, classic American so arrow coasters are, off to the newer ones. These are our research tracks that we've groups. just knocked Fantastic. Up, yeah, and you can Amazing. expand and collapse them to make it look nice. Oh. There's one thing we haven't talked about, which I just oh, remembered, oh, oh. is if you if you don't want to faff with this and you just want to use one of the existing research tracks, oh, those are all available you will here. Find, yeah, we've built I would some click them now, but I've spent ages making this track, so I'm not going to undo it. Yeah. But it will pop in all of the default That's research awesome. for a specific yeah. challenge, difficulty yeah. for you. And, and you if you want to see what scenario. we've done in our scenarios, you can open them in the scenario editor and open up the research. Yeah, and it will just appear see. right in here with yeah. the existing research all in. Oh, so you can go to the existing scenarios that are in game, yeah, yeah, and now you have to tab in the corner. We absolutely. We said we were we were talking about this at FX as well. This is these are all the tools. That we use, yeah. to, we have used like to book. create planet coaster scenarios up to this point, mm -hmm. and That's everything amazing. just works with them. You can just open it. That's so again. cool. Um, someone asked in the chat before; uh, it was it was a while ago, so I, I did forget your name. I'm very sorry. Um, whether there were going to be new scenarios in the 1.4 update, but I'm hoping that this showing this feature <laughs> answers your question because you'll be making the scenario. Yeah, you are the scenario. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Uh, we're definitely not making uh, a new ones for 1.4. over there on a little research track as well. So at the start, you're only going to be able to make. I think I left Western. So this is going to be a Western oh, park to begin with, I'm afraid. That's very Western cool. Western is the only thing you're because going to be Noah able to do. Because Noah was also just yeah. asking, um, can you select certain scenery pieces to be locked? Um, but it's, I think it's the themes, it's done by right? Themes. Yeah, yeah. we've classified by the theme because there are that's hundreds the and hundreds of, feet of scenery items in Flat Coast to right. navigate to use them, yeah. this UI with To navigate this things. in a kind of <laughs> reasonable tier is it would be really hard, <laughs> really hard. <laughs> because we do, we also have a park scenery one there, but that's kind of the trees and the rocks and the foliage, or yeah, yeah, that, that's yeah? right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. different yeah. like groups of bushes um, and trees and things like that. So yes, Ryan, as you as you can see, this entire uh, research tree that Bradley just built is custom. That's what he built. But yeah. then for yeah. people that um, don't necessarily want to spend that much time in the scenario editor or just want to try things out or just getting familiar with it, they can use the presets as well. So yeah. Um, yeah. basically, we've thought of hopefully everything. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> uh, games for Tom, can we disable custom music in the editor? I think he's just trying to. He's to being troll funny. Vampiro, yeah. Games for Tom, yeah. welcome back, Games for Tom. Thank you so much. Poor Vampiro. I hope he's yeah. okay. Vampiro, of course, that's not a thing. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> oh, someone else was asking questions. Oh, yeah. Bruno, uh, are there cascades? Now, yes, there is a cascade. It's our new water coaster that's coming to 1.4. We're not showing it off today, but there is a video on our YouTube channel um, that amazing. has all of the new rides that are cool. coming to 1.4. Um, really quickly, they are the Weisshorn, which is a classic fairground ride, then the smaller brother, the Monte Leone, it's kind of the Weisshorn, but without the theming and the roof. Uh, the Cascade is the water coaster, Hop the Gaps is a sort of rickety side friction coaster. Uh, terrifying, it? yeah, it's terrifying. It's quite scary. But it looks, it looks amazing. And, uh, and the Zenith coaster is a hydraulic launch coaster, like an absolute beast uh, yeah. of a coaster. So those are the new, uh, the five new things that are coming in 1.4. Yeah, I think. Sam's joining you next week. Yes, to, on, on the to launch show day. all off, and yeah. he will be no doubt very proud of them because they all look incredible. Absolutely, fantastic! Shout out to all of the the ride and the art team for it. They've done a Aww. brilliant job. Thanks, Andy. Yeah, we'll we'll do a launch stream uh, next Wednesday with Sam Denny, and we'll go through all of the uh, all of the new things that are in uh, aside from the scenario editor that are coming into the 1.4 update. And um, Sam will have loads to tell, um, like background stories and everything that he didn't get to say yeah. uh, at Frontier Expo. I did see a question. Jamie from, oh, I've seen one from January yeah, 6. How do we share scenarios? Is it uploaded to the workshop? Yes, it absolutely yes. is. We haven't shown uploading a scenario to the workshop here yet because uh, we want to uh, save that for later. But it is just like uploading your parks to the workshop. You upload, work, upload the park, you give it a description and things, and people can go find it. They just appear with a tab for custom scenarios. Right. In the workshop, you can find them. It's amazing. Awesome. Uh, no Name City asks, does this mean that Frontier will no longer add new scenarios in future updates? Um, uh, Never say never, but I would assume that would kind of be redundant at the, at this point. I I don't know. I, I think yeah. our designers always do love to show love to show things Definitely. off. So I would never say never. Yeah. But what we're really hoping is that we get blown away by the sheer amount of community scenarios. Oh yeah. That get developed. 
We'll be doing like a scenario editor live stream. We're going to do a scenario editor competition as well, right before the um, yeah. the twenty four hour stream. So we'll, we'll have loads going on um, with scenarios and and. But it's definitely kind of giving the tools to to you guys and then yeah. seeing what you guys will come up with. Yes, picnic benches are also in the one point four update to Jolly. Um, again, we're not showing them off today, um, but yeah. there's loads pi loads of picnic benches um, and they they look absolutely amazing. Yeah. There's like. Canopies going Eve, with the yeah, picnic and benches there's even as well. Canopies that you can put videos on from the video billboards. It's amazing. Oh, I mean, that was even. I wasn't even going to say that. But oh, that's, no, just, no, no that's great. Spo I just we got spoiler ending today. No, I like it. I like it. So yeah, we're, there's loads of cool new things coming uh, with that as well. We've yeah. Got oh, the I like the lock building button. So it's Jacka. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll, I was we'll just come showing to that off then. I was, I was actually oh. doing it because oh. I was popping some shots down while you guys were talking, and I'd locked them so that the player wouldn't be able to to remove them because obviously in this scenario we've we got build shops yeah. so if you delete your shops you haven't got any shops so yeah. probably oh just to lock those from the yeah. player and, and those were just like lock, locked things did in our in our own scenarios where exactly. you have like locked things outside the park border you can have wow. locked lock things within the park border you can build your theme yeah. park you can put some classic rides in it and go well you can't delete that classic ferris wheel even if you think it's not making enough money gotta have it there very cool yeah uh, Bruno asked for that. Yeah, that's good feedback. Like waterfalls and on-ride photos. Those are things that we know that the community have asked we, for. We, we hear, we hear. They're, they're in the planning. Like the things are, things are, are heard. Um, but yeah, if and when those things happen, we, we can't really say. Yeah. Um, not not for one point four. Now we want to focus on all the cool things you can do with scenario. Exactly. Writer. Exactly. Uh, Fubar eighty nine. Uh, Bo, whose birthday was the start date for the park year based on? Not mine. Is your birthday on the 1st of March? No, no. no. I'm, I, I, I think we'd have to ask the designers why, why, they, why they picked 1st of, of March. I don't know. Maybe it's that thing across like all roller coaster games that, that it was always 1st of March? I'm not sure. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know either. We'd have to. We'd have to check. We can. We can ask James. Ask James Taylor uh, when we when we back. Yeah, we yeah. should. A uh, twenty-four hour question. stream is definitely happening this year as well. We are uh, planning it. It's 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 coming together. Um, but we haven't announced anything Emails about it yet. Emails have been sent. Emails have been sent. People have been reserved. Um, but we, we will make those announcements very soon as well. Um, with all the information that you need, and uh, and we're very very excited. It's going to be a really good one this year as well. Um, oh. Yes, very good. Uh, maybe next update. What about the we're watching you, Bo? Bo says Noah. Yeah, that, that's that's a, com a community thing. Um, I know what's going to be happening. I know who's watching me, and I know what they're watching. But um, yeah. I'm sure when they're ready, they will announce uh, to you exactly what they are planning. Um, yeah, that's cool. all lovely stuff happening. Shall we jump back into the snow? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Sorry. So I'm not. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> You're just making everything really pretty. Uh, yeah, I was just happy in my own little world <laughs> yeah. playing Pony Coaster. I don't get very, very often get a chance to do that. So let's. Not while on work hours, anyway. <laughs> 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 let's jump back in. So, what did we get up to? We got up to research. Shall we jump straight? Yeah, into let's, let's, yes. let's jump into marketing. Yeah, so this is a pretty straightforward one, but cool. it's um, still pretty exciting what mm -hmm. you can do. So, you've got full control here basically over what marketing campaigns are available. Awesome. So, these are kind of the, the nine campaigns that you would have traditionally available in, in your scenarios. Um, you got your, and it also, the, the interesting, the most interesting thing is it breaks down, you know, what, what the impact, what the effects of these campaigns wow. are going to be for the player. So you can kind of see, oh, I don't want, so when we get onto the guests tab, this might become more yeah. interesting. Right. Um, because you, you can see these uh, potentially attract more teenagers or attract more families. And um, one other thing you're going to be able to do in Scenarios Tour is control the demographic of your park and okay. control who's yeah. going to show up and then even potentially control, you know, what kind of rides they're going to be interested in. Yeah. So. And, you know, if you want to keep things authentic, you're building your, like, 1930s pier right? you've locked off all the new ones still closes, you can take out online marketing. Yeah, online marketing <laughs> didn't exist back then, yeah. so we'll, we'll get rid of that one. And then you can even up the number. I don't know how high this number goes. I was going to type in a number, but that usually back. Oh, gosh, you can have a lot of... You can have a lot of marketing. <laughs> so you can, you can like have them all active. On yeah. at the same time. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Go crazy. Or you can just say, no, the players no, no marketing. Wow. Yeah. But we'll put that no on marketing. and allow one gosh. campaign at a time. Help. Yeah. Nice and limited. Yeah. So that's, that's a quick summary of what you can do with marketing. And then, should we jump into stuff? Yep. <laughs> cool. So this one's very fun. This is oh, yeah, some entirely new... Yeah, new Planet Coaster features that you're going to have. Yeah, not, not in the, more news. Yeah, this wasn't this wasn't in our Stop in our <laughs> at all. This is brand so brand new. Yeah, this Very like cool. yeah, none of the none of the career uh, mode will have stuff set up for this because no. this, is, this is literally literally new. brand new for you guys to play with, which is going to be really exciting to see what okay, you can do with I'm it. Okay, I'm going to be yeah. super quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, 
first of all, we're going to start from the top. So allow the player to toggle staff features. You might yeah. want to talk about this. Yeah, this, is, this, is, this is all of the all of the new stuff features, the staff management building, the energy levels, and everything else. Uh, as we always do, it is behind the toggle, so you can turn it off. If you don't want to do this, mm -hmm. you can you can turn it off. But when wow. you're building Same custom, with exactly, this is exactly how security works. We built when we built when we added security, we built some new scenarios that required you to have security turned right. on, and you can now do exactly the same thing. You can decide if you want to allow people to toggle it, and you can either fix it on or off. That's yeah. amazing. So yeah, that's the allow players to change it, and this is what is the default setting for the part. Yeah. So you can okay. say we don't want, but we obviously we want the new stuff features. Yeah. Cool. So that's that's the basic rundown of that, and we'll get into more details of what those entail. I think that, I think sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. Mm -hmm. Breezer says, how about a prestige motherfire for rides? I think did we not see that somewhere we, already? So I'm going to place it on a ride in a bit. You can. So there's, there's a new scenario to tab okay. when you're placing rides yeah. in the we'll, we'll, editor. We will we'll come to we'll that. come to that in just a second. Hang, yeah. hang with us, hang with us, please. There is so much to talk about. Yeah. Um, yeah. So then there's a whole bunch of new what we're calling staff profiles. So these Ooh. are basically profiles you can pick for different types of staff that change the way they behave in the park and change the kind of AI for for the staff really. So the general settings applies to all staff, and you can change some basic basic stuff. So these are just basically there's some harder difficulties or easy difficulties, okay. and then some specific work personalities. Work 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 work. Work. Don't like working. Don't so want to hire that. Let's have person. a look at hard because I'm sure everyone's excited to see that. So on yeah. a hard staff setting, staff building perks are less effective. So that's yep. one of the new staff management features. Staff can quit at a higher happiness level. So Normally, you'd have to make your staff pretty yeah, unhappy before too, they'll yeah. quit. But now, right. if they get even a little bit unhappy, they might just throw up their, you know, throw their hat down and walk out the park angrily. And then finally, staff also might be hired at lower happiness. So you need to keep them entertain uh, keep them yeah. entertained, but keep them busy, keep them well paid, um, to keep them hanging around in your park. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And then the last little feature is a new thing tied into um, the new staff. Uh, features, mm -hmm. which is that staff now have an energy, they need to go to the restroom to rest and recuperate. Right. And uh, as part of that, uh, it'll only kick in once you have a certain number of, of rating for your park. So yeah. when you're early on, that won't really affect the gameplay as much. It's yeah. kind of limited. This, 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 is, this is a balanced thing. As we were developing out in this, we felt that otherwise it was really punishing early on in the early game stuff before you had a chance to build all your stuff. Okay, out. okay. Yeah. So that's that's basically that's cool. that. And then the fun part, on a per staff type basis, you can choose different different parameters. And there are wow. loads of these to choose from. So <gasps> you could choose apathetic entertainers. Oh no! <laughs> so and that just means they're worse than their they job. Don't they don't care well, about yeah. doing the oh, job. No. Yeah. But your janitors could be uh, really passionate and then will work harder and work faster oh, than, gosh, than normal that's janitors. Amazing. And you can apply yeah. that and they all have different effects depending on which one you pick. Like so passionate on this will be slightly different from passionate on a vendor because obviously okay. they have different jobs yeah. to do. They have different um, attributes right. that they're, they're going to manage there and then they can change. That's yeah. really cool. And then you can just, I you know, want some stressed really out security hard. guards. Oh, stressed security guards? Yeah, yeah so that's like, oh my god, <laughs> who Security was guards it? get overworked <laughs> from small workloads. Yeah. So even if they have to catch like one thief, they might be like, oh, this is oh, too much for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on back yeah. for another break. I can't, can't be dealing with this. <laughs> That's so cool. I love that. Hashtag yeah. apathetic. Yeah, that is that's, that's a good <laughs> hashtag. Yeah. Cool. That is a good hashtag. Yeah. Uh, that's that's absolutely so amazing. This stuff's yeah. all new. This, this, really is all, this is all part of the work we've done to rebalance staff to kind of to to, right. to make all of this new staff management and the scenario to a more compelling experience for everybody. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. Shall we uh, see how that ties into guests? Yeah, so. guess is one of my favourite tad. I think it's one of the prettiest ones. It's, oh, got, it's, got, it's, these got, sliders, it's got grabs. Yeah, it's got scraps and sliders. <laughs> I've, got, I've got to get in my piece. These sliders were a nightmare. And <laughs> they caused me all types of problems. Because they but, they, but they are really cool. They are cool, because when you, when, you, when you grab this one, look at that. Oh, that oh my there. god! Oh, that's so, so cool. Fun. You can do all sorts of balancing Oh, I love that. You feel like a real, like, you got your your fingers in yeah. behind the scenes. This is and you're, yeah, you're designing, this is very yeah, like micro stuff. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, and those beautiful colours. So I think the the guest tab itself, we've got the standard kind of this. This is all about park attractions demographics, things like that. So if we concentrate on the left-hand side, and we'll talk about the right-hand side, which is all new in a sec. Yep. So guest happiness rate, <laughs> this allows you to, to kind of tweak how the rate at which your guest happiness declines. And you you can decide if you're, if you're building a, a, a park which is super, super happy, yeah. you can increase that so that the, uh, the oh, wow. so that the guest happiness rate declines. Oh, actually, I can't remember the increases. I can't remember which way it goes now. I think, I think it's the, the so rate, the rate at which they decline. Declines. So if you so, want to make them happier, you want to lower it, I think. Yeah. Oh, OK, yeah. OK. Yeah. yeah, and it's an, it's important because I can't remember all the number of these things. There are loads of tool tips yeah. and help tests to, awesome. to help people out, which is because it's there's a lot of things to change in here. 
And then this one as well, you can use to make, so that, that objective we created earlier, which was get a thousand guests in your park. Yeah. If you want to make that easier, you can just basically say, well, what if guests spawned 150% the normal rate? Wow, yeah. okay. So that's basically a bonus on the spawn rate that yeah. can kind of increase the rate your parks grow, or if you're worried about, you know, how many Very guests you have cool. in the park, you can, yeah. you can lower that and make it a bit harder. Yeah. Wow. Then you've got your demographics. You're not going on easy on us today at all. I can, no, I can no, tell. No. Yeah. Well, I'll leave this at the base. We'll no, it's fine. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, park attractiveness. So th these are the fun sliders. And basically this allows you to say, I don't ever want teenagers to turn up in my park. And that will basically just mean there is a 0% chance of them turning up, but it's wow. twice as likely that adults will turn up as families. Yeah. Okay. And that's important when you're choosing what kind of rides you're placing down. Like in yeah, this kind of scenario, if you've got rid of all the families, you never have to, you want to put in lots of like thrill, exciting rides, yeah. high velocity right, rides right, right. Okay. that will appeal to teenagers. Yeah. And that's um, how um, we, We've had a lot of questions in the past about how demographics in Planet Coaster work, and we hope this will help, kind of help to explain some of it. All the way throughout development, we experimented with different things, mm -hmm. and we we tried the kind of thing where as you build different rides, we vary the demographics, and that actually made a much less fun play experience because okay. what happens was you get this horrible like positive feedback loop where you build a load of kiddie rides, so a load of kids turn up, and there's then zero <laughs> incentive to build a load of adult different rides stuff, yeah. because if you build them, nobody rides them, and then yeah. eventually you kind of, you build some adult rides, and then nobody comes on the kiddie rides. It's, you, you get this oh. kind of moving, always moving target. Yeah. So oh. the, 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 after a lot of planning through with, with some fantastic designers from the project we came up with a solution where a load of stuff is more fixed and it's actually more fun because you can plan out your park knowing what will happen with it without ever just getting into this horrible loop of oh well I've got to build more kiddie rides because only kids are coming to my park wow yeah. okay and then the, f the final awesome. two are just allow you to say whether you want people to come together as nice bundles of groups. Obviously, there's no right. slider for family because a family is always a group. Yeah. And, uh, kids don't come to the park on their own. Okay. But uh, your teenagers and adults could come separately or as couples yeah. or even as, as groups, as groups of four of, or yeah. five. Or, yeah. 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 Cool. Right. Should we, jump onto the, should we jump onto the fun I'll bit? let you take this one because I'm not too, too <laughs> oh, so familiar this is, this with this is, guest, <laughs> this is, guest trait is a, is a brand new feature for, again, just like the, the staff say, so this is a new thing. And what we've done is we've added a chance that, and you see that's currently set to 10%. Yep. So there's a 10% chance that when a guest spawns and comes to your park, they will have one of these guests, one of these guest rates, uh, one of these guest traits, sorry. And if we hover over some, and, oh yeah, we've got presets so you can stand them all up to medium or high or whatever if you okay, want. Okay, but you don't, you can also well, just, just get rid of them entirely. Oh yeah, you yeah, can yeah we, we, definitely, we definitely want some. Yeah, uh, and then if we look at each of them, so we've got wealthy, if we hover over wealthy, they have more money available. So okay. they'll start with more money than they would usually have. You can decide, <laughs> yeah, high, well, wow. and wealthy, or, or yeah. low. We can, you we can, can decide. Just, uh, and we, we, also have, we also have, have <laughs> poor, which is they, they start with less money. So you can, the, the, the hope is that you can, you can use some of these things to set up some scenarios, and we'll pretend Brad didn't say that. Uh, That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh my well, gosh. So there's lots of really right. interesting things. So I'll Phil, go through these quickly yeah. for people to see them, but they we're can, not going to read them all. No, now. We'll, so we'll, be here, we'll be here forever. But the basic idea is these are properties that get These are properties that get assigned to your guests. They like coasters more than other rides, yeah. so you want to build lots of coasters in your park. That's yeah. amazing. Set the trait really yeah, high. No, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely fitting into the coaster head, the coaster head right, guest we'll, trait. We'll put that one on. Little yeah. bugs, no. Yes. Get rid of those. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's down. down Sorry, it. I'm yeah. impatient. So we, yeah, we've yeah, built yeah. these things, which again <laughs> just <laughs> mean that you can. <laughs> want any of them. No. They, they, they just give you more <laughs> control over how your your park populated and hopefully some interesting things oh, for your for your scenarios. These and again, are when, so you load, funny. when you load up our existing okay. scenarios, you Vomit won't see everywhere. these in use because we didn't have them no until one. now. But for you guys to build cool things with, can't wait. We can Ooh, literally make. Walker. Yeah, I was going to oh, say, yeah. you can make the park of my nightmares like slow walk. Everybody's yeah. really, really literally. literally. literally everywhere. Oh, <laughs> terrible. Yeah. That's so cool. I really love this picture. Sickly, on those. being sick everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I really We've like got that. that turned up to high. Oh, Could you imagine just a bunch of slow walking teenagers? Yeah. Just throwing. Throwing their, their everywhere, cans yeah. everywhere. Your all poor, of their your poor janitors. Coffees. Your poor right. janitors. Yeah. Oh man. And, we get, and then we have like epathetic janitors who don't <laughs> care. Don't care. Yeah. Great. Did we, did we <laughs> no, I think no, we're just passionate, so just actually we should be right, okay. We should be fine. <laughs> we're fine yeah. Right, and shall we jump for last of all to the last crime tab? The crime tab. Cool. And again, here you're going to be able to turn off. Uh, so basically, so in the scenarios that we added to the career yep. mode, right. that had crime in them we enabled those and didn't allow you to go into the settings and turn it off because normally yeah. if you're playing your challenge park or your sandbox you can turn, you can on turn, or turn off. off so if you want you can basically say i don't want the player to have control over this did i do that the wrong way around no and then turn them on mm -hmm. enable everything so now 
they need to worry about security, they need to worry about pickpockets, right. yeah. but they can't turn it off. So you, you can kind of enforce difficulty in your scenario, or you can just let people decide yeah. how they Very want their cool. scenario. Yeah, it depends, if, you know, or you can just turn it off. You can decide this isn't a scenario about crime, and yeah, it's just turned off. Yeah, we don't need to worry about crime. Okay. Yeah. So awesome. in the interest of showing what's here, yeah. you've got... Also, we've got stressed out security guys. We, we, yeah, we've got, got, to, we've got to put them to good use, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what we need is really high spawn. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, too, much, too much vandalism. We'll go, we'll go Four bins and benches. And then this is the threshold, basically, which says underneath 30% vandals will commit crimes. So yeah. you might want to okay. say, even if they go below like 50%, they're going to start committing yeah. crimes. It's, wow. it's like, it's like, like an like important 15. differential between how vandals and pickpockets work. So people come to your park with the sole goal to pickpocket people, mm -hmm. but right. vandalism is just something that your poor Planco guests do when they are really unhappy, when they're yeah. really frustrated, <laughs> they will kick over your bins and benches. Now we can't, can't promote kicking over bins and benches. No, we but, don't condone that. No, no. But you know, sure? we've, got our, we've got our stressed out security guard, so he'll be able to, to, to cope with it, okay? Nice. Mm -hmm. And then you can kind of control when pickpockets kick oh, in. So great, the same yeah. way you could do the park rating before for enabling uh, star features, you have mm. the number of guests in your park before pickpockets turn up. Wow. So halfway to our silver achievement, uh, yeah. our silver challenge, pickpockets will start appearing in your park to make that a bit harder and okay. deter people away. You can change how frequent they are, um, the maximum number you can have in a park at a time, um, the rate how, at which yeah. they spawn, so wow. obviously you want very high rate of spawning. <laughs> um, and then difficulty, what does this one do? So I think difficulty is how fast they run away from security guards. Oh. I think, oh. I think that affects like how, how, what the chance a security guard has of catching your pickpocket. Stressed yeah. out security guards, yeah. not being able to catch and any of this, them. And these last two are basically multipliers on how effective security guards That's are. That's amazing. Yes. So this one basically, Based on their monthly pay, how likely are they to spot a security guard? And wow. based, based on it's, it's always been that if you pay your security guards more, they do a better job of catching <laughs> By your... By magic. Yeah, of catching your pickpockets. It's almost like they care more. Yeah. Uh, but you can also now <laughs> change Definitely this as well. Definitely not so. security guards. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is awesome. So it will give really you control cool. over all those wonderful things. Mm. Shall we wow. um, take a look at the, the rides? Yes. Yeah, let's okay. take a look at the rides. Yeah. So let's pop down I'm a excited. new flat ride. Let's go with a f traditional forge. Cool. Oh, Actually, we need something Western. What's a nice Western looking flat ride? Uh, uh, ooh. I mean, the chat will the... just want to see the new ones. So. Yeah, I'm yeah, going to try and not. Yeah. The new one. <laughs> let's go for a nice carousel. I reckon a nice carousel. Yeah. He's po it says pointing at the screen that nobody else can see. Right to. That one? This is the chair. A chair plane. Oh, I always get them confused. Yeah, go for a chair plane. The chair plane. The chair plane's a good start. Good. So we'll, we'll slide this one in here. Yeah. Right, so uh, just to answer someone's right. question from before, we currently don't have any plans for Planet Coaster on console, and um, a, a very strong no on the mobile version. So, um, the, the, if you see any out there, that's not those are not Frontier, um, and they should probably be taken <laughs> offline. Um, yeah. yeah, we're we're not releasing Planet Coaster on mobile for sure. So, but thank you for asking. This is lovely. Good. Hook up the exit as well, so we yeah. can just get guests disappearing suddenly. Um, as some there people we were asking about balancing as well. There's definitely some balancing uh, tweaks in this update. Again, yeah. so um, with every update, we try to do um, as much with that as we can. Um, but of course, we have to take a, a, a host of different ranges for PCs into account. So, and and, and people who spent a lot of time building parks, and right. things, We also don't want to break things for them as well. Yeah, right? exactly. Balance is a really difficult topic. It's something we yeah. constantly revisit. You'll hopefully yeah. see a bunch of changes to do with staff from this. Absolutely. Has come, have come through from us setting all this stuff up, but um, yeah, watch, ha have a have a go when the one point four update comes out and let us know yeah. what you think. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Thank you. So the scenario to tab that we have here on rides now is kind of a sneak peek into the the tools we mm. have when we're, when we're working the game. We, we like few, sneak peeks. A few buttons brought over from our from our debug tools. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> but they're they're important for when you're building a scenario, right? Because right. you might want to make Sorry. a scenario where all the rides are broken down yeah. already. All the rides are on like the verge of breaking down, but yeah. not actually about to break down. Oh, yeah. wow. So you can basically say this ride is like super worn out. Uh, it's about to break, but you might also to, to back up that if it's like part of your story, you might say, "Oh, this ride is like 12 months old now, so it's been around in the park a long time. Yeah. So it's understandable that its reliability is worse and it's about to break down." You can kind of build a narrative into your scenarios. Cool. So through, Breezer yeah. Hawk, there tools. you go. <laughs> yeah, and then of course you can lock it. Lock so it. So people can't well. change it. Yeah. You yeah. can say if this chair plane is so valuable that you cannot edit it. This is the most important ride in the park because it's the only one. <laughs> and so <laughs> <laughs> we're yeah. going to lock that in and that's Definitely something don't touch that. that is there yeah. for eternity. 
Uh, Very as cool. Yeah. Um, Games for so, Tom asks, can we buy land open. outside of the initial park boundaries? Um, as far as I know, no, we it's don't. The voxel yeah, terrain. we don't. We nice. don't have uh, the purchasing land as an option. It's yeah. just you set up your boundaries as we showed off earlier in the stream, and yeah. then that's that's what you can work with. If you decide you want to tweet them afterwards, you just reopen the park in scenario and you can change the boundaries. That's exactly. fine. Which is awesome. Um, then Rens is asking, what does the roaming trade mean for guests? Well, that's a good question. Shall we? Uh, um, I can I can actually tell you what this means. I think this oh, means really? the guests are more prepared to walk to things farther away in your park. And we oh. actually have something else really cool to talk about for this. Okay. Uh, okay. Shall I go ahead and talk about it now? Yes, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So right one, of the thing, one of the things we've added, uh, pop down a, um, a video billboard. Video billboard. Yeah. Uh, are they in scenery, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, billboards. And any particular um, one? Any, any one at all. I want a big one. Yeah. The biggest one the I can find. The biggest one ever. We'll put it on the side of this mountain because that's obviously where they were. Yeah, you won't. Um, and on top of the Fricker then. Gaming, and maybe Actually, Andy, you can change the. Um, how will these different scenario options be portrayed on the workshop? Can you decide if this is a, so? You can decide if this is a scenario you would like to subscribe to, which is a great question. So, um, because there are so many options, we don't present them out to the. We don't yeah. try and fill in any data. What we do is we give the classic workshop thing where we let you decide what you want to tell people about. Right. Exactly. So rather than just populate, because as Ooh, you've seen, there well are done. so many things that we could put in here. Yeah. That. We, we want you to call out what you think are important about your scenario. Absolutely. So the cool thing we can do here is advertise destinations. What? what? So this oh. is this is a cool new thing. We we see that when people have things in their park, well, obviously and they we're have, advertising this. Yeah, <laughs> advertising the chairplane. Oh my uh, god. So the, the idea is you can put these, and this also works on info info. Um, I always forget what they're called, the info points as well. Yep. So the idea is that you can have like signs that actually say, go to my coaster that's in the far corner of the park. And oh. when a guest walks by that and they see that sign, they go, oh, great, there's a coaster in the far corner of the park. And they are then more prepared to walk there. They still have that's to decide amazing. if they're, you know, they're still going to decide if it's far enough, too far away or they're too hungry or thirsty or whatever. Yeah. But mm -hmm. by advertising far destinations in your park, the hope is that it will get you, it'll get people moving through the park better. And if you've built like loads of really cool things in the far corner, but everybody's just, just hanging around the chair plane because it's that. Ice. You can push it out of that. So you can actually now have a Missy Good. It's not a Missy Good. A Missy it's Good a, sign. It's a chair plane, but <laughs> that advertises a Missy Imagine good. we had an yeah. advertisement for the chair plane. Yeah. So it links the billboard to the yeah. destination. And they, and they have a, 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 a range awesome. of effects that, you know, just as you get it happy if I walk past scenery, it thinks they have a range of effects so that they actually act as actual signage for buildings. That That's is so awesome. cool. I didn't even know about that. <laughs> Me neither. There are so many things in this. <laughs> That's so cool, uh, yeah, and the chat's very excited for it as well. Yay! Awesome um, yeah, it's one of those things that takes something that was just purely decorative up till now, and the, the amazing work people have done with the custom signs and everything else. But you can Absolutely. now have like a weight board for your and coasters and actually link it so people will go walk to your coaster. It's really cool. Very cool. Awesome. That's awesome. Well done, team. Um, mm -hmm. And I saw a question before from SP Ridley as well about um, can you also lock scenery like trees? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. can lock anything, I believe. Um, so if we place let's put on tree. Foliage. He's just he just wants to see some autumn trees so sneakily. Oh uh, yeah, you yeah. can do it on the multi-select, right? I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah. So let's place down a whole forest. Uh oh. Trees. <laughs> if you yeah, want to show some well. autumn trees, no, 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 you, you can. <laughs> Yeah. La 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I play scenery in Planet Coaster. It's a very scientific uh, yeah. process. Definitely. Um, yeah. So make sure you do your rotations all, in between. All of, our, all, of our, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all of our creators are now going now with their heads in their hands. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the, the reason I'm um, a programmer and not a Mor designer. Yeah. Uh, Moritz David is asking, I don't really understand how the priority pass system works. Can either one yeah. of you maybe explain it? Quickly. Um. Uh, yeah. So, very quickly. Well, well, we'll pass on this. We've yeah, selected a group of trees and we've got to now these people can't enter. There you go. I spoke with Lisa. I hope that answers your question. And somebody says, I see yellow trees. I believe we've announced the spoilers. Yes, there's no spoilers. We have some autumnal trees in the update. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. These ones aren't locked there in case you don't like them. Oh, yeah. That's absolutely stunning. Let's not do that. I like that. So Priority Pass works exactly like Fast Pass or things in a theme park. The idea is that people can pay an extra money yep. to skip a queue. The guests decide, they look at how long a queue for a ride is, how much time they will save by using a Fast Pass, and then then decide in turn, you know, by doing some, some maths, because that's how all guests decide things, right. uh, they decide <laughs> Just if, like in real life. Yeah, if it's <laughs> worth money. I mean, we've all been to theme parks and looked at a one hour queue for a ride and gone, oh, I wish I bought a Fast Pass. Your wow. guests will head straight to the, it, it, that's the decision that they make. They look at what 
is currently in the queue and decide if they think it's worth it. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Lomax, speaking of foliage, is there any new foliage <laughs> yeah. coming? Um, so, we, yeah, there's definitely it's some autumnal trees yeah. coming. I'm afraid we haven't really built a great queue for Fast Pass here to oh, tell I, I did not plan off. ahead to make but this a Fast oh, Pass I, I, bet you, I bet you there are fantastic videos from our community all about Fast mm. Pass on Absolutely. YouTube. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's, there's definitely some autumnal trees coming uh, to 1.4, but um, that was mostly a result of the um, Frontier Expo feedback that we've received. Yeah. Um, so, there's no shrubs or anything. Anything. There's no new foliage coming aside from the trees, um, but this is this is this is what we've got now, and mm -hmm. we're definitely aware of the uh, of we, the we feedback. Hear, we, we absolutely hear you. Yeah. Um, so hopefully in the future, who knows? Yeah. Um, we will we will be able well, to implement some more. Yeah. 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 Few, and Disney Freak four four five five says, "Oh, showing new content. Where's spoiler sound? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll we'll have to let this one slide. I'm, I have to say, these two are doing an excellent job spoiling some things here. So. <laughs> Whoops, he says, say <laughs> placing <laughs> down more trees. <laughs> more trees. <laughs> yes. yeah, exactly, exactly. Nice. So, shall we fill in our final objective? And yeah. Maybe yeah. Load, load, this, yeah. load this up and see what it looks like when you when you load up your own oh scenario. Yeah. So, what what's the theme of our scenario? What what summarizes what we've uh, created today? <laughs> I'm, I'm stressed. Uh, it's hashtag apathetic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the theme of our scenario. <laughs> so, nice. There we go. So th these are our two objectives. You've got to have a gold objective. Yeah. The point of okay. One. You, so you don't have to have a gold you objective. You actually don't have to have one. But That's you a totally good point. Should. But you totally yeah. should. So what should the last one be? <laughs> Something ridiculous. Hashtag not biased. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Staff no leave. staff leave. Oh. So. so oh, this is a, this is it. This is interesting as well. Uh, we have another little another little spoiler here. Oh. Um, so. Staff leaving is really annoying, right? Mm. When you just before you just get the vendor has quit and your shop would shut down. Obviously now we've got the new system for vendors where they can roster in and fill it, fill in. Very but we've added thing. a whole new system for staff so that when a staff member decides they're going to quit, they chuck their hat on the floor and they go to march off out of their park. Mm -hmm. You get a notification and you can choose to hire them back. You have to give them a little bonus. But if you've trained up your yeah, because we all do this. I do this in the park. You you train up somebody. You've got your favourite janitor. You yeah. don't notice that he's getting steadily and steadily more unhappy. No, then he just then, then he just then he just quits. And you're like, oh, well now I've got to train no, somebody Henry. else. Yeah, Henry's gone. Why is he gone, Henry? So now, as long as Henry hasn't left the park, he hasn't walked out of the park and, and exited, you can hire him back. And you get a notification. You can click him. You can say, okay, well I'll just wow. give you. 80 Planko dollars, and please don't leave Henry, please stay, <laughs> please and his back. happiness gets restored and he comes back into the park. Wonderful. I also quite like this cheeky question from the lay designer, can we lock our scenarios for being able to open in the scenario editor and being edited and re-uploaded in a workshop? Ooh. Uh, ooh. I'm, I'm afraid <laughs> the answer is no. Unfortunately, whatever happens in the workshop is beyond yeah, our control. Stays in the yeah. workshop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, but I know that our fantastic community does a great job of spot, you know, people people don't just rip other people's blueprints off. No, they, we you know, They don't rip other people's parks off. We've done really, really, the people yeah. built the most amazing things and it's really impressive how, how as a community, how much we've come together and just, you know, mm. you, I know I can browse through that workshop page and see a load, a load more, a load more things. Yeah. And, you know, you just browse through that page and see tons of amazing content. And it's not just, I see the same shop over right. and over and over again. Mm. Exactly. It's brilliant. Yeah. There's a lot of integrity within yeah, the community, and so it's nice. Great content gets pushed to the front and pushed front and centre by all the fantastic work Bo and Ed do on their oh. on their all of their all of their, all of their all of their fantastic workshop streams <laughs> and the workshop itself promotes content that you all like and you all play. So the real oh. idea with all the Southern Planet Coaster is as a community, we'll get to go play this tonight. And I'm saying we because I love playing custom scenarios. I, I mm. cannot wait I to go on a workshop and well. grab a load nice. of cool custom scenarios. Yeah. And maybe maybe I'll make one which is actually possible to complete as well. <laughs> or make one that's impossible yeah. to complete, which is totally something yeah. you could do. Absolutely. You're a no, that's part, part, part of the <laughs> part, of the, part of the fun. Games for Tom has a good question as well. Does the advertising option for the screens uh, attract people to buy more things from that shop? Um, I, I, I'm not actually sure exactly how that works. I think it will draw more people it will towards draw them the there, shop, and then but basically it will when on yeah, the guest treats, right? yeah, yes. So they're gonna they they will know that that shop exists and they will get drawn to it they're more likely to spend things there <laughs> so you're I just guess. giggling because you're like I, get to, I finally get to play my scenario so yeah. I've, I've just um, made use of the new save and play feature which is part yep. of the scenario so oh, when you're when you're ready okay. to try out your scenario you can go and save menu save it and jump straight oh, in we, oh, and load very, it up as very a scenario. quickly yes. please 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 add shop inventory management 
This is it. This is interesting because we have added a load of shop inventory stuff oh, right. in this new update. Shall we? Shall we take oh, a yeah. look? Let's jump into. We the can't because we can't place shops. But ah, can we get no. out of the existing shops? Any, yeah, we can, we can yeah, look at the ones from the existing, existing shops. Shop. Okay. So let's take so, a look. Is this a good one? Tiki or, chicken. Yeah, yeah. I think I think there are now stuff. new new inventories for all of the shops. So what are we going to items for sale? <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's have a look. So under the extras, um, the extras, we now have a whole load Ooh, more things. Hello. And if you ho if you hover oh, wow. over all of these wow. extras, they will show you what they actually do. So you can see ketchup makes Ooh. guests happier, mayonnaise makes guests thirstier and happier, and that is all of the <laughs> chili we sauce makes guests more nauseous. Oh my <laughs> Just gosh. like in real life. <laughs> oh, I don't know which design affects that. Tell us again what bacon does. Bacon makes people happier and thirstier. Oh man, <laughs> definitely, real life. definitely happier. <laughs> This yeah, is so, so you can set cool. these on a, on a per item basis. You can say loads of ketchup Ooh. and then a little cheese. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No. On wow. your hot wings. Yeah. If that's wow. how you like and your hot wings. And these affect <laughs> the, 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 running, the yeah. running, cost of the, <laughs> running cost of the shop. And obviously, you can charge, potentially charge more for that, okay. that hot wings if it's got extra ketchup because. That's very cool. To, yeah. Very cool. So here we are with our, our, uh, our objectives. Play Angel um, said um, this update is out of the park just with the scenario editor alone. So yeah. we we, well we done, are really well really well done, really well proud of this. It's fantastic work from <laughs> all of the, from all the team that's gone into this. Yeah, it's yeah. very. It's cool. one of those things which it's quite difficult to get up on stage at FX and talk about all this stuff because yeah. it's really quite technical. You know, we've been going for what must be nearly an hour by now just yeah, going just really going good. through the the GUI and effects for this stuff. What you know, <laughs> by the time people actually start making cool things with it, yeah, exactly. it's going to be amazing. But it does take time. Yeah, and then for you being like really passionate about yeah. it, I was like, no, Andy, nope. stop it. We hold you back. <laughs> no more. Yeah, very cool. Very specific traits of sauces is Owen Evans' music, definitely. Yeah, yeah, our, d our designers definitely. really There's went to, really went to town. That's the, obviously, we've only got a mushroom frites and a, a tikka chicken in this part, but it's the same for all of the, all the chicken. You can put gherkins in your chief beef burger if you really want. Because everyone should have yeah. um, yeah. Is it. there a way to have That's a billboard okay. that links with the ride so it shows the actual wait time for the ride? No, we haven't. Not we in haven't game. done that. But um, I have seen people build the most yeah. really cool signage for their, for their rides, including like fake wait times. But we don't show the wait time on the right. board. Sadly. Exactly. Um, and then War Eagle uh, Seven Five One says, "I saw vendors. Yes, you yes. can absolutely hire extra vendors yes. so that when your vendors take their breaks." Here Look we at go. that! Remember. We can pop them down. They will Hello. just wander around, the, wander around the park, can, and make, then can I make this go jump out? I'm not sure if you can do that. Time to you go can, on a break. You can definitely close the shop, which will select vendor. Can you turn I to can take a break? I can fire him, right? And then it, the <gasps> other person. Oh my will gosh! Know. I'm gonna fire that vendor. Wow! So he's he's, he's look how not cross happy he is. About yeah. that. He's very sad now. He's gonna What's jump out name? of the shop. Uh, who do we fire? We fired Psycho Cow. Psycho Cow, apparently. <laughs> That's an elite. Yeah, he's an I, elite guy. Yep. Yeah. Are you watching Psycho Cow? Oh, I don't dear. know who's watching right <laughs> yeah. now, but he would I be honoured that he's fired I think by you. We, so we hired the IP vendor to it. Good job. Uh, we can, but of course, rehire him. Yeah, and oh. then our other new vendor that we just brought in. In, in Mount Mount yeah. Donaldson is going to jump okay. in and take over the job. So there wasn't really much downtime on the shop at all no. because we had an extra vendor in hand. Yeah, and we can even. We can How long do you have to rehire him before he leaves the park? Basically. I think until he walks off. Okay, it, it's okay. In, I think it's until he leaves the the, the, the spawn point where guests de wow. guests despawn from. So you've got yeah. uh, enough time to grab him, and there's a notification to say, you know, obviously we fired him, so there wasn't a notification generated. But if he just if, if he just rage quits, <laughs> there's a nice notification. <laughs> to him. Okay, he has taken a hit on his happiness though, as you can see from his recent. Yeah. He wasn't happy about being fired. No. Shall we? Oh gosh, there's so many things we could do. <laughs> I don't know if there's any elite players in the chat right now, but if anyone is, do take a screenshot of the Psycho Cow moment and send it to him because I'm sure he'll be more than pleased to be fired by Bradley. Oh, Brad, go for blueprints and put down one of the. Oh, the, the there is there are blueprints for the staff management building. Oh, they uh, Noah we, asks, if you set everything to a lot them. in the inventory of a shop, <laughs> will that cost more than setting everything to some? I think you can set the price regardless of what you set for the shop, right? Uh, so you set the you set the price on the, the thing you're selling. You don't set the yes. price on the extras. You say okay, okay. a chief beef super but cheap super chief beef burger is um, like is have ten dollars, and you can then choose to, put to you can then choose to put extras on it, and the okay. extras mean that people will be more prepared to pay more for their stuff. Okay. Um, but it also will have a different effect on them depending yes. on what. Yes. Yeah, they are gain on that. Cool. They gain that. They gain that effect. So they'll yeah, they will be happier. They will be thirstier or whatever. Right. That's awesome. 
So this is the stealth management building, right? They're, 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 yeah, there will be blueprints. There are blueprints. I, they're they're right. I don't think they're in this build, maybe. Uh, I, what I suspect is they are actually all uh, locked because we only allowed Western things uh, and we probably don't have a Western uh, staff management thing yeah, yet. Yeah, that'll be all but right. But there, there are some lovely uh, pirate ones that have been created and some lovely things by our fantastic oh, yeah. artists. Yeah. So <laughs> don't, for, for, I know for, for some people who find the building a little bit intimidating, which is me, uh, yeah. there are lots of really cool blueprints. So Very cool. Covered. Then we can choose what perk's going to apply to them as well. Oh my gosh, look at that! Yeah, yeah. so this, this, yeah, this is the, the, new, the new kind of staff perks functionality. We, we spoke about a little bit of FX. So this wow. is where when a staff member goes and rests up in here, they gain all of these things. And again, this is way too much text for us just to sit there and read it out. Yeah, so you guys will be able to... But it has an effect on the running cost, of course. Yeah. You have to it, confirm it, that you want. Yeah, and you can also change how many staff can rest up in your in your staff room. Now, uh, as, as with all plant coatings, we want people to build the most amazing um, staff rooms. But working out you know, how big is that actual stuff room is really yeah. quite tricky. So yeah. what we've done is we just basically give you the kind of classic bathroom box, like just like the toilets, and you can choose how many you want to. Right. How many people, how many staff you want to let rest up in there. Obviously that affects yeah. the running cost. So the, we hope that people will build cool little dinky, dinky staff rooms for the guests and you know, to their staff and now just like one staff member to rest up. Or a night, a really big like back of back of park kind of lot lot complex and then allow you know five six stuff but then that comes at the cost of running that expensive staff building okay That's a I want to see if I can complete at least one objective before we finish the stream. <laughs> <laughs> that was my new goal. Uh, <laughs> we'll, let, we'll leave prior to that. This also I'm another, just leave him to stream. Yeah. Like <laughs> another, another. I'm gonna get some food. <laughs> another, another cool thing we we we've done is um, we now have we've changed we've changed toilets. So toilets now get dirty and need to be cleaned by janitors. Oh, and guests cool. don't like dirty toilets. So if you're charging your guests, that. yeah, if you're charging <laughs> know, your right? guests for a. For for a toddy, you better be. You better hope it's nice and clean. Wow. Okay, that's cool. And then if you have any like you know depressed sort nope, of janitors, they working. will no kind of ignore your toilets and yeah. this will be yeah. sad. So yeah. you can see how it all kind of works together. It's very cool. Um, Max versus. Is there a safety feature built into the editor where the creator needs to complete his own scenario so we don't get any impossible scenarios? <laughs> no, 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 there isn't. We, we, <laughs> we, no. kind of, we kind of want to see impossible <laughs> scenarios too. But yeah. I think the the, the the reality is like it, I I can definitely build scenarios that I can't complete. Yeah. And then people go in and complete them and tell me how easy they are so yeah. what we've done is we, what we really hope is that people will post on the workshop I can't complete this this is impossible somebody Someone else will come along and go this. no this is impossible yeah. and somebody else will go well I completed it here's a screenshot of my yeah. finished objectives thing exactly. and we'll get to see you know how did you complete that with the next question right? that's cool very yeah. cool are you building there I'm, I'm getting there <laughs> I'm working on it I'm working on it D Freak Five says, "Can you set certain staff shops to specific break rooms?" Yes, you can. You can tell them to go take a break in a specific break room, just the same as you can roster staff to specific yeah, shops. Exactly. Nice. And it will give you it gives you a stat on the staff the distance to their nearest break room because if you make them walk too far to the break room, they're going to be annoyed. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, yes, do increasing the does increasing the extras make the running costs for yes, shops it does. increase? Yeah. Okay. I, sorry, sorry for I, misunderstanding. I it no, does, yeah. <laughs> I misunderstood this question. Um, hmm. Still want to lock the scenario buttons as the ladies I know. Oh no, lady! Oh no! We're just gonna have to hope for the best. <laughs> um, I mean, luckily for us, like 99% of the Planet Coaster community um, is absolutely lovely and has loads of integrity, and they won't just yeah. steal that. So they'll be fine. But it will be interesting to see different people. Yeah. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I I really I, I want to be able to to sneak in and look at how lady designers set up her. her Scenario yeah. so I can make mine better. Oh, I don't okay. want to just copy them. I just want to be me, able is to. Is this a challenge going on right now? Like, oh, are you no, challenging the ladies' No, <laughs> no. That would be really bad. <laughs> I would lose that so hard. <laughs> oh my gosh. That 1,000 kilometers is long. <laughs> That's a long coaster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you might be a bit, bit, opti bit optimistic with, with that. It's fine. It's fine. Beautiful. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. You did an excellent job, I am sure. Yes, Max, there will definitely be a community competition with the scenarios. Um, but a reason why I've waited with that for a little bit is because I wanted to see sort of, you know, what these guys were going to tell me about it. Um, and then I have a better idea as well of how I can sort of make a competition about it with certain boundaries. And I think Brad might be making a bit of a stratocaster there. <laughs> oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, I had 30 grand to start with. It was all <laughs> going to work out okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So yeah, I hope you guys have uh, have enjoyed the live stream so far. I mean, we've showed you most of the uh, management updates that are coming. 
Um, Commander Real, Real War, the new prestige tab um, is what we've showed just before when we uh, when we placed the chair plane. Yeah, so if, if, if you, um, uh, I, I would well, keep keep coming yeah, to the sorry, Brad. Sorry. Keep okay. going to <laughs> You can scr scrub out the, scrub out the stream yeah, yeah, stream yeah. later and and, ta and check it out. Exactly. And we'll be talking about it more. Um, that's a little high, says Chris. <laughs> <laughs> MS Smooth or M Smooth says, uh, "Oh my gosh, I'm so happy and excited, but still a week uh, till all Planet Coaster players can experience it." Yep. I know, yep. I know, or only a week, really. Yeah. It's, it's only a few more days, and uh, and it will be very exciting. And um, do check in uh, on Twitch on Tuesday uh, at 12 p.m. Uh, GMT, Twitch.tv forward slash. Uh, Frontier Developments, um, and then I will be playing some Planet Boaster, and then on Wednesday I'll be joined for a special launch stream by Sam Denny, who at that point won't have lots to spoil, but um, he'll be able to take us through like all of the other uh, things that we haven't shown today, yeah. um, and, and tell you loads of stories about it, and show you how things work, and I'm sure he will have that. Uh, Noah Swartz says, yeah. this is a long stream, love it. I yeah, know, when we, when I just we were realized. Planning, when we were like, planning oh, this, I was like, we'll definitely have enough content to talk about for an hour, and I was like, it's not going to be a problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, be a problem. <laughs> I know, I realized that now. I was like, <laughs> I was really nervous. I was like, "Oh gosh, like, oh, is this okay? Like, will we have enough time? Like, will we have will we have too 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 much time?" Oh no! Uh, <laughs> no. Oh yeah, yeah. That that didn't quite. What work. happened? Uh, just, uh, uh, physics. <laughs> a, a, a bit of a coaster crash there. We're working on it. We're working on it. No. Of, of what just happened. <laughs> Um, and gar uh, regarding Mythicos, it says so much more than I expected. That's awesome, and we hope that um, that, that that counts for more of you who've, who are watching or are watching back uh, as well. Um, I mean, I can only say for myself, like this absolutely blows me away seeing this and, and hearing you guys talk about it. Um, so much work has gone into this, so it's it's very very cool. We're not getting very close to the uh, <laughs> <laughs> to the objective. We've only got seven months remaining, and we need oh another dear. 870 odd guests. Yeah, Klaus. Um, yeah, we always um, do lunch. Time streams on our on our Twitch channel, um, twitch.tv forward slash Frontier Developments. On Monday at 12 p.m. we play Elite nice. Dangerous. Tuesday 12 p.m. we play Planet Coaster, and on Thursday 12 p.m. GMT um, we play uh, any sort of uh, Frontier game. We have just finished Lost Winds and Lost Winds 2, and this oh, week lovely. we'll play Elite 1984. Oh, <laughs> so help! <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what that's what we do on Twitch, and then obviously we have the Wednesday stream for Planet Coaster and the Thursday YouTube stream for Elite Dangerous as well. Lots going on. Uh, Denny6985, what about mod support in the future? That's definitely something um, that you know we're still discussing internally, um, and we will have more to say that in, yeah. in due time, but not at the moment. So, Indeed. But thank you for asking. Um, Games for Tom says, big compliment to the entire team. Really amazing, all the news I see here, even if I'm not a real scenario creator. Well, you could be, who yeah, knows? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I was thinking that to myself as well. Like, I'm not you know, very good at management style, uh, the management side of, of playing Planet Coaster. Um, but when I see this, I'm like, well, I might as well just give it a try. It's worth, because, worth giving it a try, yeah. You know, and, and, you guys and have thought of everything. Open up some of our career scenarios, see yeah. how we've done things. Yeah, definitely. So I, I'd be interested to see if, if some of our creative uh, builders uh, would also be challenged by a scenario at this point. Did you make your objective, Brad? I think I did it. No? No. Oh. How long is it? How long is it? It's 1023. Curses, curses, curses. Yeah, I've still got some. You're right, it's too scary. It's got to also reach 90 comms an hour, hasn't it? Yeah, I've got 127, but maybe... 127? <laughs> oh, oh, wow. It's a God. fast coaster, what can I say? Because <coughs> it has the biggest hill, yeah. <coughs> the the biggest hill. I'm surprised that fit inside Is the uh, bounding box. The not open. It could be. I think that might be one of the requirements. Uh, no Name City, I, I did answer that question on the forums a while back. Uh, coming Regarding a roadmap for Planet Coaster, um, we currently have, we, you know, we have an internal roadmap, but it's not something that we feel uh, like we want to communicate um, just yet. Uh, we might do that in the new year, um, but for the moment, that's a, that's a no. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll, I, I rest assured, there's still uh, passionate devs working on Planet Absolutely. Coaster. <clears throat> and then we've got um, Fermion. I don't currently have anything to say about expansion packs. Um, we uh, have just released a spooky DLC, which is absolutely amazing. And then obviously 1.4, which is the update we're talking about today, will come out next Wednesday, the 22nd of November. And it's absolutely free for you to enjoy. And we're very, very excited. Um, yeah. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. Bradley looks so focused. <laughs> he does. <laughs> <I just saw laughs> <that comment. laughs> this is what I do as well. Like yeah. I was playing Planet really Booster yesterday. And I was like, like this. And then I kept on going forward, and people were like, you're really close to the camera <laughs> right now, and I was like, oh gosh, it's I'm creeping sorry. everyone. Yeah, up. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, exactly. 
Um, yeah. DJ Technoid says, I missed the beginning. I oh. definitely say oh, DJ dear. Technoid, you should go back and look at the beginning. But do is there any it. editing outside of the borders? Yes, there is. Yeah. <laughs> So we've actually shrunk the borders here. Yeah. As you can yeah. see, they're nice. Very um, cool. We've made our tiny. borders super small, but we can we have go some and unconnected entrances over <laughs> yeah. here. Should have probably been hooked up, but this one works. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. There's people in. coming in. <coughs> this entrance over here. Not very tidily, but <laughs> I mean, questions about blueprints. I always, yeah, I always so. give to Andy. So, so the, plans the, the and packs pa and, and cues. Yeah. So every, every time we talk about this, it is it, parts of blueprints are really hard because of how they work with with terrain. Yeah. And like, for example, is your if, if you imagine trying to build like a mountain with path up, but how would you save that into a blueprint? Well, you, can't, you yeah. can't because yeah. the terrain. You if you flatten it down to be a two D thing, you can't because yeah. so everything's in three D. But it's we, we we are we we are thinking about ways to work on this. We always are, but it just just it is a really hard problem yeah. and every time you try and do it somebody comes up with a great idea and then you try and work out how that would work in 3D yeah. and it doesn't we can't do you, know, you sit there going oh well I can't figure out how this would work it's a hard problem we yeah. are thinking about it I agree yeah and and, and sometimes we can't always say yes and, and, and fix things so yeah, um, yeah. That's, that's just no, the, 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 hard, the hardest thing ever is to, to, to look at a problem and go I don't know how to fix this oh! It was, Sorry. It, yeah. <laughs> you did it! I'm sure there are hundreds of people in the chat now screaming at me because it says at most a thousand meters long and I spent ages oh, making, making it more long. than a thousand oh, meters long. No, <laughs> but it's all right. Of it course. does work. Cool. You did <laughs> Sometimes it! Sometimes if you're yeah. intelligent enough to make it work. <laughs> <laughs> Which I clearly am not. But there we go. We've done awesome. the runs. Right. Yeah. Right and if we, we, leave, we might as well leave this, leave this one running and we'll see whether we, we should get the silver foot object. I think we'll probably get We've got five silver. months to get another 670 guests. It's not going to go well, is it? But it'll be a nice way I'm to show off how they down loads of flat rides. How they <laughs> object with, with your not very much money remaining. I know, yeah. I, I, I got a limited number, but I can, I can try. Also, it's nearing 8 30, so I do yeah, want we probably to protect have to, you guys a little yeah, bit. I know you're very excited right stop now. At, stop at some point. <laughs> yeah. um, will the new picnic benches be able to be saved in blueprints? Um, I think not, and that is yeah. one of the reasons why we are looking at how we can go about trying to do path things in blueprints. It's because we are, they're path extras, right? Yeah, they're, so, part, they're path yeah. extras. They have to be on or next to the path so that people can get to them. Exactly, um, and that, that's that's a good question regarding picnic benches as well. Um, I did I did a schematics um, podcast before uh, this live stream. I don't know if it's if it's going live today, um, but I do talk a little bit yeah. uh, about the picnic benches in that as well. And um, basically, picnic benches are um, classed as park. Uh, path extra, sorry. So they have to be placed on or near a path, just like paths, uh, just like benches, benches and bins yeah. have to be done as well. Um, so yeah, it, it will. You can create like really cool plazas and stuff, and I'm sure yeah. you guys can come up with some really epic things that goes beyond my imagination. Um, and then there's the curbs and barriers as well. Uh, oh. Hello. Whoops. Whoops. There they are. Who's all those? Curbs and barriers. Um, they are embedded in the new uh, fences category in uh, in scenery. Somewhere in down there. So you go to props. Props. Yeah, and then it's fences yeah. in the bottom. Fences. So we can show that. That's fine. Yeah. Um, and curbs and, and and benches. They're they're interesting. So basically, they are placed on paths or uh, anywhere really um, as well, and your guests will avoid them. Yeah. Yeah. So they, it kind they, of lets you control the guest flow. Yeah, yeah they, they work exactly like, we refer to this like as crowd discomfort. Yeah. It isn't like a guest will never ever walk through yeah. this because exactly. of how the flow system impacts. Yeah, because if I were to works. stick this across the whole path, they would still eventually walk through yes. it, right? Right, okay. It would, would have to but, get through there. And, and obviously with narrow width paths, it's much more tricky. But if you've got like a large plaza and you want to cut out a middle section of it, you can do that. You see, there we go, we've got somebody yeah, walking around. So she there. avoids it, yeah. Yeah, they're all going to, you know, kind of... <laughs> oh, we don't really want to walk through that, but if it gets too congested, they might. Yeah, they might have to. Yeah, too. so there, there's there are certain limits that you can give to your guests, but there's again, there's only so much you can do with yeah. depending yeah. on your your See, they're going to go width through it and eventually, but they'll try and go through yeah. the middle. They'll do their best. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. That's very cool. Uh, schematic team says it will go lighter, live later today. Yes, excellent. Fantastic. So that's very exciting. Uh, schematic team. Um, thank you so much for the quick editing on that. I had a blast talking to those guys, as always. They do a great job. Oh, that's a big one. And you're still going strong here. Oh, yeah, my goodness. Uh, uh, right. we, can, we can wrap up whenever you, <laughs> you want, but there's lots of good questions. And we've got lot, yeah, so we've I thought I'd just, keep, I'd just keep building. So, yeah. Yeah. says, can I uh, add, use the option of scenario editor um, for, uh, for like a sandbox park? Yes, you can. You can just open your uh, sandbox park in scenario editor. You can make the changes that you want and then right. just open it back up as a sandbox. That's fine. Yeah. Wow, so awesome. if you want to move your entrances around, that's a really good way to set up some cool custom entrances and then still oh. use that in the sandbox. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. 
Can those curves be hidden underground? And will, is the hitbox big enough? Will they still work? I think so. Yeah, um, yeah I think so as well. Um, it's the, the way that the crowd discomfort works isn't isn't just like a hitbox, isn't it? The way that crowd works in Plant Crush is very, very complicated. Yeah. And I'm sure Owen McCarthy would love to tell us all about it sometime. Yeah, but oh, yeah, it's still, still they, they, they still avoid it. The hard part is getting it back out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's it gone? Ah! Yeah, that's undo, undo. The <laughs> yeah, the easiest way is to just undo that. Uh, will the existing um, fences now also work as a blocking item? I don't so no, know. and the reason we do, the reason we haven't done this is that because Ooh, people may have built stuff fence. in their parks right. that with fences that would otherwise like stop guests getting around easily. Yeah, okay, that's good. So the reason we've done this separately is, is so that we don't break everybody's oh, old old parks. We want you to still be able to load your parks and. Be, Oh, yeah, we all your rides broken down, right? Yep. Awesome. <laughs> yes. More, more mechanics. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Janitors. And when you, is it true that when you now click on the ride, that it now has a notification, a special notification saying the mechanic is on his way? Is that a thing? I think it's under. Yeah, I think one of the one of the tabs says that. That was that one of the new things that was coming, right? Yeah, I think Very possibly cool. in that status, but it will show you when a mechanic is being yeah, assigned yeah, to the awesome. ride to fix it. So you can check that your mechanics aren't just all chilling out in the staff building and not fixing yeah, any of your guy rides. This is, is thinking about going for a bit. Please rise. Do, 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 do. No, really Very good answer, Andrew. Oh, OK. <laughs> well done. Um, MS Move says, I'm on Plant Coaster right now, playing and watching. Good for you. That's an excellent, some excellent multitasking you've got going on there. Good stuff indeed. How do you know which fences actually actually block? Um, so those are they're named uh, yeah. curbs or barrier, I do believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, so it's a barrier and it's a curb. Yeah. Um, so those six block. are the ones that, the ones uh, that will block. Anything that's not a yeah. fence won't block. Yeah. There's no new lights coming in 1.4 asunder, but thank you very much for asking. And um, okay, that, that's, that's another subjective. piece of feedback that's very <laughs> helpful. And Jules says, can we paint trash on parts? No, you can't paint <gasps> it. Your, but it's up to your guests Why to, would you want to more paint trash. trash? Yeah. No, please, keep it away from me. Yeah, oh, mm. look at the, look at the, the uh, passionate janitor over there, <laughs> sweeping away. Yeah. yeah. He's very passionate. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> Got a little workload. So yeah, if you guys have, oh, is the warning symbol on the right description new? The oh, that, oh, yeah, to That's say that it's broke, oh, broken yeah, yeah, down. Yeah. I think that was, that was there that before. Was the new, there, the yeah. new thing is to, to show you when there's a, a mechanic's been assigned to the right. Yeah, when a mechanic is yeah. on the way. Yeah. Um, between the seats. What's the difference between barriers and curbs? Absolutely nothing. They are yeah, just they the visual the representation. Yeah, they work the same. Visual, visual styles. Wood, wood. Wood, wood. That's now fixed. So, yeah, this was awesome. Um, I do think we, we should probably, we probably wrap should. it probably up should. a little yeah. bit. How, how far have we got for that? Less than four months. Do you want to just ram the speed up to four and we'll, we'll answer we'll your try. questions and see? Because yeah. it'd be we'll nice to best. just show off the failed objective. Yeah, let's, if we let's can. fail the objective because we're not going <laughs> to yeah, achieve not gonna it. We're definitely not going to achieve it. We're going to get enough guests. So, this for that is one. Uh, by March year two, we want to fail it. Yeah, so basically yeah. a whole year. We've got less than four months. Can we edit it as we go and make it, or is it? No, no, we have to be open in the in the Oh, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay. That's okay. So you have a few more minutes to ask us some questions. Yeah. Um, about 1.4, please. <laughs> uh, and then uh, we're gonna we're gonna call it a night. Yeah. These, these, these Question guys about, have had a long about day. changing old sandbox maps in the scenario map. Yes, you can. You yep. can open up your old old scenarios and change the buildable area in them. That's <laughs> fine. Nice. Uh, Brian Beats says, why is everyone walking on the sides? I'm pretty sure it's that we force them to the sides by putting discomfort yeah, in weird places dis around the park. Yeah, there's don't a worry discomfort about that somewhere. Right now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I've done. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so so we're not showing Could you maybe let us today? change the entrance for the park, a place where people spawn? Yep, we absolutely we can. Totally can. Yep, we have done that. We have, yeah, we have there are different points here. here. People spawn in Lovely. from there. One over here, which is the original one. That people people spawn in from there. And then there's a third one over in that corner over there. <laughs> At this point, they're just playing the game. Yeah, we pretty much just are. Yeah, <laughs> we're just enjoying ourselves right Basically, now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and yeah, again, let us know. Let us know in the chat um, what you're most excited about with the s scenario editor. Like, which which tab or which feature was your favorite that's coming yeah. that we've shown you today? Um, thank you so much for all the lovely words that you guys have been putting in the yeah. chat as well. Really no, appreciate really, it and uh, means a it's lot. It's nice to, us. to get to share all of the all of this hard work from the yeah, whole team. Yeah, exactly. Uh, no, we're not showing the picnic not benches today. Benches, no. I know you guys really want to, but we're keeping that for uh, keeping that a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Got uh, bye, Noah. Right? Thank you for joining us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, do the DLCs have separate themes? Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, they do. Well done. 
Uh, how are dirty toilets visualized, says Hikai? Uh, there is a, uh, there's definitely a uh, graph. I can't remember if they also emit noxious clouds of things oh. uh, or not, but there's definitely, uh, if, do, we, do we have any toilets? No, we do not. I can place one. Pop, pop one down while we wait Put for our, there. yeah. Toilets, blueprint please. Do you have enough money? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, let's take out some of those loans all we put loans. in. <laughs> Quickly, take all the loans. It's the evil loan. Did you not? I, oh, you didn't. I, no, I, I thought I put it in, but I guess no, I didn't. I think no, we took, you, I think we took it off in the end. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just yeah. take all There we go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. That would be fine. Sure. There we go. All fail the loans. Now we've got loads of money. Uh, yes, um, so he says negative cash goes red now. Yeah, we heard the feedback that people couldn't see when things were going red. Negative. When, you, when your cash gets red, it gets angry at you. Nice. Well uh, done. Unfortunately, there are no pirate, sorry, Western themed toilets. So we're going for a. Box standard. Yeah, if we um, <laughs> if we if we grab one of those one of those toilets now, you'll see that we've now got a um, a cleanliness yeah, bar from here. We might get there in time because the janitor's I don't know where he's gone. He's probably busy cleaning the rest of the park. And again, works exactly like the roster him. points for for janitors. So you can. <laughs> what? I just love firing people. <laughs> you can you can assign if you want your janitors to concentrate on keeping your toilets really clean. You can assign them to a roster so they do. Oh gosh! Thank you so much, Tilly Twos and uh, Wind oh, yes. West for the no, lovely, no, no, lovely no, words stop. there as well. Thank away. you guys Bye. for watching. We really, ah, really appreciate okay. you having you here. Oh, he went in this toilet anyway. Um, Maybe he's going to clean it. Real yeah, Steel there says, we go. Oh, cool, he's oh, still fired though. Okay. <laughs> oh man! Real Steel says the scenario editor was the biggest update for the game. I think oh, it's definitely well. a massive feature that yeah. we're very, very no, excited it's, about. No, it's something we, we've taken really? loads and loads of time and effort to bring over from right. our horrible like developer functionality hidden behind like manually editing a bunch of text files and things to something. That's really cool, and I can't wait to see what people do with it. Absolutely. Uh, MK creators, you're going to have to wait a, l a little bit longer for the question about the Zenith because um, Sam will be uh, the excellent person to Absolutely. inquire about that. Um, Aritario says, Greetings from Miami to Bradley, Andrew, and a lovely bow. Thank you so Ooh. much, Aritario. Thank you. Greetings to Miami. Wow. I bet it's, bet it's warmer than, yeah, <laughs> warmer than Grey Cambridge at the moment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. I'm so ready for winter right Less now. Less than two months remaining. We're 50% mm. there. I'm not Ooh. so sure. I'm not so sure. You're not sure about winter? Not sure about Look winter. Look at this cozy hoodie. It no, looks so, so nice. Fluffy. Was Planet Coaster hard to make? And please say it in a short story. Now, I'm afraid as a, <laughs> as a programmer, I'm not great at short stories. <laughs> but Planet Coaster was hard to make. Yeah. These kind of games are really hard to make. And it's thanks to the hard work from everybody, from all of our artists and all of our programmers, that, it's, oh, that Planet Coaster has come together to be a game I am really super proud of. And I hope absolutely. our community enjoys playing as much as I do. I know. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. That's very true. Uh, oh gosh! I think there should there. be smelly stuff coming out of them. Maybe I think <laughs> there might be. I can't remember, Ooh. so I don't want to say for sure. But oh, he can. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. We might find out. Or are you about to get super dirty? Oh yeah, no! It's there we go. Oh, there we go. There's smelly That's stuff coming out of the Oh! Oh boy! That does not look good. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> Toilet block three makes what? me feel sick. Well, yeah. yeah. I'm so that's... glad it's free. I wonder why it's free. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. Oh, no. I, oh, I wow. fired I all the about, so. I see some people asking about trigger updates. Uh, we will talk about them soon. Yeah. Uh, they so are really cool, but way too much to cover on this stream. Uh, yeah. Yard of Terror, what time will the new update be live on November 22nd? We never say that, no. but it will be uh, during the working hours at Frontier. So yeah. sometime between 8 a.m. GMT and 6 p.m. GMT. Mm -hmm. um, yes, we'll be very excited. Games for Tom, is that a Gregor Burns feature? Yes, Smelly Toilets is definitely inspired by Gregor Burns. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, Gregor Burns, do forgive me for that, but he, he knows that I always make fun, <laughs> so it's fine. Uh, spooky poo fumes. Yes, yeah. exactly, Nemi. That's exactly what it is. Uh, can you make a separate entrance for the fast pass? Asks Yordi. So that isn't how a fast pass works. No. I mean, I think there are. They're I think it works in different ways in different theme parks, right? Yeah. I know some theme parks have separate separate entrances for fast pass. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. some don't. Ah, yeah. You need to make sure when you build your Someone extra pass. Someone explains it in the chat why I can't <laughs> have yeah. guests come in here, <laughs> and they are very correct. <laughs> nice. No park entrance. There we go. I mean, see, so we have nothing to worry about when it comes to scenarios because no, right, no, you guys no. will just pick up. Uh, Owen Evans <laughs> Music says say, s to say hi. Here we go. Uh, I did indeed bump into Owen at, um, at Walton Towers and it was amazing. Oh, lovely. It's always great to meet fans. Always That's great. so nice. That's really nice. And was Alton Towers good? It was before it was closed for the for the winter. Yeah, assuming. yeah. Oh, I I, I, t I took took some holiday time from work. I'm going to call it research time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some, some ho research holiday time to go to Alton Towers, and it was fantastic. And the park was really quiet. I rode the Smiler four times in a row. Oh wow! It was okay. amazing. Nice. 
place that before I run. Now 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. I said. <laughs> <laughs> Do not misquote me, Sander. No, I can't. And we will, we will be tweeting all about it. Everybody will be. Oh we yeah, can't we'll wait be, for we'll it to go live. We'll we will be on it. Know, as soon as it's there. We'll be on it. Um, yeah, again, do watch the, the Twitch stream, the Planet Coaster Twitch stream that we do on Tuesday the 21st. Uh, Ed and I will be playing some Planet Coaster um, at 12 p.m. GMT, and it's loads of fun, and we would love some more of you to tune in there uh, if you can. Less than one month remaining, we're nearly done. <laughs> I'm excited now. No oh, no, we're at the end. We're at the end of this, right? At the end of March. So a few, few more days. Yeah, that, yeah, a rubbish few more days, few more days. <laughs> So they just not like your coaster, Brad. It is, surprisingly, this isn't a good coaster. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. wonder why. Yes, Andrew, we know that the, the, the so there's little green things yeah, on the shirt, I'm, and I'm because of the I'm afraid I, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't really. I, I've learned my really lesson. Play yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> green on the stream that first time I was on. Oh, there. Luke will be will be shouting oh at gosh. me somewhere about this tomorrow. I forgot. I, I picked out a t-shirt. I went blue will be fine. It won't, and then I forgot that oh, there were green it's circles. Okay. Oh, so I'm just so slightly sad. transparent. It's okay. We like that. Um, Fubar, thank you so much for those kind words. There we go. Well. We did it. We have failed the objective. Oh, no. I kind of want to wait because we're about to get the gold one there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But there we go. Terrible. We only got halfway. We, yeah. were, we were rubbish. Bad at job, medium. devs. But there you go. So that's now locked out. You have to start again if you yeah, want. Yeah, you want to complete that medium objective. God, this is a nightmare. Look at it. Yeah, this is. <laughs> is like, it because mm. you fired all the janitors? It by is, any yes. Chance? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and put all the toilets definitely. in one place. <laughs> Yay. There we go, and we've got the gold. Fantastic. Wow. Yeah. Great note. <laughs> Scenario complete. None of our entertainers quit. Obviously, they didn't mind walking around. They're very violence. unhappy, but <laughs> they're about to quit, probably. But they've gone back quickly, to their work. Quickly, before they go. In fact, they're actually in the staff, staff building. Yeah. So you'll never, out. you'll now never be able to get that silver objective unless That's you correct. go unless out you and go start out and again. Start, start the scenario again. Start the yeah. scenario again, but there we go. Hashtag oh, 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 oh. Bad, bad, bad. Uh, when is this live stream over, Lorenzo? You know what? I right right now. now. You've ended the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> you ask, we answer. We're ending the stream. <laughs> um, but thank you guys again so much uh, for uh, for being here. And uh, again, 1.4 um, is, is an update that's mainly focused on the community feedback that we've been receiving um, in the past few months. And um, we really, really appreciate it and really appreciate all of your, uh, your voices on the forums and in this chat and, and wherever we can. Uh, hear you um we do our best to listen Fantastic. um thank you so much bradley and uh, andrew you, for showing the scenario editor it was a pleasure and thank you for hosting Bo. of course it of looks course. absolutely amazing um and again to reiterate the 1.4 anniversary update comes out next week wednesday the 22nd of november uh, sometime during the day <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we're very very excited uh, do expect some more news on social media uh, about the uh, the content and, and some cool things. absolutely and we so can't wait to see what everybody does with it <laughs> Scenario Editor is going to be very, very cool. So cool. Yay! I'm, so sure, I'm sure they'll be amazing. Yes, yes. Very much so. I'm oh, very, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, so thank you again, guys, for tuning in. Um, tomorrow there's an Elite Dangerous stream uh, on YouTube forward slash Elite Dangerous forward slash live. Uh, if you're interested in that, really cool. And then um, Monday, Twitch stream, 12 p.m. And Tuesday, uh, Planet Coaster Twitch stream at 12 p.m. Twitch.tv forward slash Frontier Developments. Um, so do tune in there as well. And then next Wednesday, we will do a launch, 1.4 launch stream with Sam Denny. Um, and we'll Fantastic. have lots to talk about again. But thank you guys again so much for and, joining and me. And very quickly before we go, thank you oh. to all the, the chat mods who've yes. done a fantastic job. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Um, so Absolutely. lots of hearts in the chat. Um, thank you guys so much for all the support. Uh, and we'll See you very soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>